Great lighting with uh, the the tail lights. <laughs> the U-Haul truck. Wow. Guys, I ran into some YouTubers on the block. Just hang outside Popeye's Chicken long enough. <laughs> See some cool people sometimes. Uh, this is Ben. I forget your last name. What is it, Ben? Schneider. Schneider. And he's been doing a series about Scientology, and he infiltrated their their group and went in covertly, like in investigative journalism style, with some secret spy glasses, and got all this great footage. And and basically, now this is the last, like some behind the scenes of his last. Video. Oh my god, dude. You guys are getting the you first You fucking... I'm, you threaded the needle on that one, bro. <laughs> I was like clenching my butt cheeks on that one. Maybe I should put my seatbelt on. <laughs> god, I love it. It's okay. I got a lot of driving. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy's like... That, that's our friend. That's my friend. Oh, well, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> that's our friend. It's cool. We were F-15, F-16 fighter pilots back in, <laughs> back in training. We are back live now. They're, well, what they're going to do, they are going, they've been shining. Well, they came up with a series called Scientology Sucks. It created a religion, actually. And, oh, is this a <laughs> this manual? Yeah. Stick, yeah. I hope so, because. So he, this is Michael's car, and uh, we're all flip flopped around right now. One to seven years. He also appeared in All Gas No Breaks um, Area 51 raid video, too. You can see him in that, and he does a lot of slacklining. He was doing a lot of slacklining stuff before he broke his neck. Did, didn't you, what was like some of the, did you do Bryce Canyon uh, slacklining, or where all did you do that at? Oh, we've been all over. Moab. You did Moab? Zion. Yosemite. Man, it's I've been to those parks. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, that's the that's the, my favorite place I've done today. Yeah. I'm actually just uh, doing the van life thing right now in a oh, minivan. Oh nice. So I'm in traveling. And, we just oh, got done with so that. Fun. We were doing yeah. van life and we did the Scientology thing and then we started posting the videos and we started making some money so we got a house. <laughs> that's but, nice. The videos did that well. Yeah. That's it's great. For rent. That's good. It's, it, the ironic part is it's mostly Scientology ads that play. So really? Scientology is, it gave us a place to live, basically, if you want to think about it that way. Hey, thanks, Scientology. Yeah, thanks, Scientology. You, uh, you paid for my house. That's awesome. Are his pants on? I think so. Who cares? It's 2020. Who needs pants? Oh, yeah, shorts on. I have shorts on, not pants. They're pink. Nice. Did you, are you guys going to be doing some more skits for this one? No, this one's all just, like, real life. Um, it's... First, we have to advertise our religion, so... We go out and evangelize. We, anyways, for those of you that don't know, we actually create our own religion. It's called Scientology Sucks. And we believe in partying. If they can believe in an alien <laughs> in the sky and become tax exempt for that, then we should be able to believe in partying and become tax exempt for that because we're bringing people together socially. And Have like, you guys interviewed any of the spaghetti monster, flying spaghetti monster followers? No. I think that's hilarious, though. It You've is heard of them? a little similar, yeah. I think what they did is also genius. I think everything about raining, that is, that is hilarious. Cool. It might be nice to get the perspective, interview uh, some of those, the, if you could find some uh, people, like a group of people that are flying spaghetti monster, just to like get some insight about your starting your own religion and whatever. I don't know. Yeah. It could be a cool point of view. And yeah, we had to advertise the religion. We went out and uh, evangelized the same spot Scientology evangelizes at. So we get some of that like religious battling going on. And then we, <laughs> and then now we are about to project the word sucks on the Scientology building right underneath the word Scientology. And we're going to see if they like it or not. So you guys are going to get to find out. Now, what do you think they're, do, do you think they're going to like it? <laughs> like, what do you think? I, I actually think they're going to love it. Gonna love it. I, think, I think they're going to think that what we're doing is a genuine they're thing. They're going to be stoked and about this. I think this. they're going to be stoked. I think they're going to, I think it's going to be the best thing they've seen all year. I, I think they're, we're going to see nothing but happiness from the Scientologists, if, if I were to guess. That sounds cool. I'm ready to uh, go clear. <laughs> and I, I did a tour of the Celebrity Center because it says, oh, free tour. So I was like, oh, okay. And I was doing a live stream, but I turned off my screen. And they just walked me through, like, the main hallway. And then there, cool? there was, like, two or three different L. Ron Hubbard bookstores. They tried to get me to buy Dianetics, and I was just like, I'm not buying Yeah, they're really pushy when it comes to Dianetics. Like, no. 
It wasn't cool, no. And then they let me talk to this girl at the desk for a while that was like pretty attractive. Dude, to they try were to, like, really attractive. They try to crazy. con you in to like, oh, look at all the hot women we have here. And Dude, like, they have a lot of hot women. Yeah, but you're probably it's never surprising. allowed to talk to them or like, you know. No, you do talk to them and they're, they're crazy. They're hot, but they're crazy. <laughs> That's my type. No, like in a bad, like not in a, like a way that you want them to be crazy. Like in a, in a uh, super conservative, like, oh, like no. I'm like they don't put out crazy. Yeah, like a, no, like a they believe not... in alien, some alien that banished them to Earth, crazy. Well, most people aren't theta level. What is it, theta three or something? Ot, so yeah, ot three. Ot three. Right. Most people so, are ot three. How many? It's like very few people know that, right? Yeah, it's it's usually the older people that that know that. I have a random question. Was that one guy you were talking to at the blue place? Did he say he was OT8? OT8, yes. Yeah, when, what? We, when, we, when we did it last That's time, they so sent our... What, are they just they adding some their, different seat? Did you ask him about uh, Zenu? Yeah, I, I told him about Zenu. They, they said the... They sent their very best of the best to come battle us, and we still took them down. It was hilarious. The best of the oh, they best? they talked about it? What? He actually talked about Xenu? No, he just, I just, just, the only time I really mentioned it, I was like, yo, how shocked were you when they brought this up the This is pre recorded. This is pre recorded uh, for the live studio about audience. Zenu. And he said, he, he was basically like, he was like, there's no shock. I'm like, so you weren't shocked? He's like, I don't know where the shock is. I'm like, oh, so you're just, you've been Burning brainwashed adventure. to the point where you're not shocked anymore. Yeah, I guess by the time you get there, you're fine. That's, That's interesting funny. that he actually talked to you about it, though. Yeah, he did. It was, Maybe he was trying to kill you with pneumonia. Yeah. No, they were just out there to bait us. It's exciting. So they could I hope we don't get in trouble. No, nah, they'll be fine. We, My we, mom said I'm not allowed to get arrested we, anymore. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, we we cleared it with two police stations. You that, cleared it with the police? Yes, and they said that what we were doing is legal. So. Okay. If the cops said it's okay, then... This is a very anticlimactic Scientology. It's so small. You think anybody's even going to be... They're even going to know about this out here? Oh, they definitely have security. No, they will know... You already did the big blue building? Yeah. yeah. Is that where you get Methothate OT8? Yeah. Yeah. I'm OT8, bro. What's he got, like... I heard that on the video. What's he got, like, cross nunchucks like, or something? He busts out, okay. like... He's doing cartwheels and shit. I'm o it reminds me of that scene with the Joker and Batman where, like... Each dude's like badder than the last dude. It's like, oh, he's got samurai swords. Okay, so I did not see any parking, so we might have to park here and just take it out. Last time, the celebrity said we're gonna they park got it. Parking in an illegal spot. Ooh, better so park in a good spot. We didn't, we didn't get that much footage at Celebrity Center, which sucks. Mm. Um, <sighs> don't park in a fire line. What about right there? Is that parking? No. The white <laughs> is the white good? Actually, that does look like it's. I think it's just a good spot. I don't know if it's if, if we do anything He's slightly crazy. illegal, they're gonna get us. That's the whole thing. <laughs> He's just all nice on purpose. <laughs> all right, so let's done. go. Oh yeah, let's be up with Michael. Let's, let's go have freedom of religion. Yeah. And help pay for Ben's rent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you get out? Some, uh, good content for you too. Yeah, let's do it. I was gonna be done for the night. Okay, hey, is Michael, yeah, Michael's the camera in this car. Alright. I don't know. Is this a good idea? You guys are like right across the street up there from it, if, if it's not the right angle. That'll probably work from there, right? Uh, let's just get it going and see how much. I guess we can always move it. Yeah, let's just let's get it going. It's literally going to be shot for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> this is the last one. Yeah, this one's going to be kind of anticlimactic. Oh, it'll still be fun. Are we live right now? 
Yeah. Yep, we're live. We were thinking uh, this is gonna be our outro for our video. It's just like our, our main one was the blue building. That's where like all the crazy stuff happened. And this is just we had an outro, so it's like oh, we just went to the other buildings and did it too. So. I don't know, some like the cops came for the uh, second to last one that we did where you said this. Uh, I don't know if that Whoa, what is that what you're using to project? Yeah. What is yeah, that one of those big like yeah, yeah. Dude, professional gobos? Yeah, it's gotta go uh, that way. Dude, you think it's gonna dent? Dude, that's one of those big ass yeah. lights yeah. they use at concerts, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a concert it. light. Wow. How much does that thing cost? Hey, let's just throw it on the it's, Did they just use like rent it? Did you rent it or buy it? For a week, we have to sell this for a week. Wow. And then we also have the word rocks. And we're gonna go to the Hollywood sign. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna put some Hollywood rocks. That's our next project. Uh, Oh, that's cool. Uh, yes. We wanted to do Hollywood sucks, but like Hollywood doesn't suck. Yeah, Hollywood no. rocks. Like a Hollywood rocks, so we gotta get the... <laughs> Hollywood's already smells like a toilet. Let's not shit on it more. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Dude, it does smell bad here. Maybe it does. It never because it never rains, you know. It's people pee and then it just smells like piss for like a week or two weeks, a month. <laughs> it's like one giant like cat, cat, uh, like kitty litter that never gets changed. Okay, well, oh, maybe don't, don't so you can play any kind of you can play any kind of like video on that thing. It depends. Um, so special the, the more format. Complex it is, the more expensive it is. Oh, so like, the gobos are custom made. They're made out of glass. Yeah, so we have a little stencil in there. And so this is a uh, more of a light, not a projector. Mm. So the projector yeah, would have like been concerts and yeah, stuff like that. The projector the big, would have been like twice. Oh, okay. So, like, uh, but it's crazy. Like you can project it in the sky, and you can literally see the word "sucks" in the sky. That's how strong it is. Wow. It's like our bat signal. Big blue. They literally took every spotlight from the building to try to drown this one out, and they focused it on it. And this is more powerful than all of their spotlights. Wow. You, oh, that's called Big Blue. The Big Blue one. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the main facility is Big Blue. Damn, he got into the Sea Org, as far as the Sea Org, and into some crazy yeah. party where they try to look like they're cool and normal. Dude, that party blew my oh, mind. That yeah. was so mind blowing. The whole time. So hey, you ready to sign a billion the years whole over? Time, all I saw was just like homeless people in there, and like, like just super, super poor people. Like, you know that party. Like, everyone's you want to be an indentured servant for a billion years? Crazy. Multiple lifetimes. Oh, there we go. Should we get the camera out? Oh, you got we like were a... doing pranks. Holy earlier. shit, you're wearing a fucking wire, man? I'm, I'm with the cops, dude. Whoa. Yeah, I'm with the wow, cops. Wow, dude. Dude, I'm surprised. It's the oh. fucking setup. I knew it. Uh, yeah, he's buying drugs. Come get him. <laughs> yeah, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got a couple YouTube pranksters over here. Dude, this, this uh, Scientology building is like super low decent. I didn't even know about this one. Wait, why are you, did you just like have any walking down the street and you're like, wait, I recognize that guy. Yeah. I was like, oh, I watch your YouTube videos. <laughs> like, hey, come, come follow us. What were you headed to do? Where were you going? I was going to go home. I don't know. Like I was just kind of... Like, right yeah, he came out to make yeah. content. Yeah, I was interviewing people on the boulevard. You say oh, you're similar... you good? Huh? Did you get anything good? Uh, I mean, there's always just weird fucking people and stuff. I don't know. There's just always weirdos and interesting people. People are drunk. Thing, uh, cool gas that breaks does. Oh, that dude's great. That dude's funny. Right? Yeah, for sure. Because he, like, he wears that super old grandpa suit. Which it makes people think he's more legit, though. And then he just stands there, like, the straight face. They're like, oh, I'm on the news. He just yeah. agrees with people. Like, someone will be like, yeah, that one time I did so much ketamine. He's like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Totally more. <laughs> that was probably my favorite interview we did in our video. Oh, these are the different ones, the different oh, we have that issue templates. Again? It's in between. Again, there's, no, there's no problem Andrew can't solve. <laughs> Andrew can fix it. Okay. I'm gonna start my audio. It's behind the scenes. 
Guys, make sure to subscribe to Ben Schneider. I think your channel's called something oh. different, though, isn't it? Ben. Reckless Ben. Reckless Ben. Make sure to subscribe to this guy, too, guys. Oh, I mean, if you're watching, you probably are subscribed. But <laughs> subscribe anyways, even if you're not. Double subscribe. No, that means... People are watching without subscribing. Uh, Dude, that's fancy as hell. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, this one's all right. High-tech shit over here. <laughs> that's crazy. Reckless Ben's got a budget now. We do. Followers that's dope, dude. Well, it's, it's to our fans. Thank you, fans. Well, you made a bunch. You made a... I looked at the other videos on your channel. You made a bunch of slacklining videos, like a ton. Yeah. Well, those all have, like... Those are, like, popping up. I guess they're popping up. And they've got, like, 50K. But that's because they're old. Yeah. Okay. Uh, audio is starting. Hell, Mr. Well, Beast wait, used to do, like, Minecraft yeah, videos yeah, and stuff. Yeah, so. I haven't even got it going yet. Okay. Yo, we're still trying to figure it out. Do you guys just film on your phone? Or what do you use? I just use my phone usually, but... Oh, no, we have this. Oh, okay. The yeah, DSLR. We use a black magic raw. Uh, this audio we just yeah, got from our friend, the Magic Crasher. Okay. Uh, we usually have, like, a shoulder mount and stuff, but we lost the, the little screw, so we gotta go buy a new one. But, like, we were out today on Hollywood Bowl like not doing interviews and stuff but we were getting people to sign our petition for uh, Scientology sucks so we were like shotgunning beers on Hollywood Boulevard and shit so we, we were partying. just seeing the camera and they're like yo what's up what's the camera for ah. like, so uh are you guys you think you actually have a chance in getting the religion to be re legit though like I mean, like for real the, or the cop today said that he was gonna tell the sergeant that the religion was real and give us give him the EIN we got that on video so does it have? Does the cops have anything to do with that though? Uh, no, it's all the IRS. So like, getting something as a real can. religion, it, like you get anybody can say. I might join. Religion. Can I join your IRS shelter church? Sure. <laughs> uh, they just well, have, to, they have to recognize it as real. Whether or not we take Scientology down by getting everyone in the United States tax exempt, I don't know if that's gonna work. Theoretically, it can work. Will it actually work? We don't know. I saw there was some. I saw a video about. Declaring sovereignty on your own name as like uh, something about um, taking away your straw man or something. It's really confusing. I don't know. You're taking away your straw man. You're, there's something called your straw man, and when you like opt into the system when you get a social security number, but you can't drive, and you know you have to like live on a homestead and shit in the middle of nowhere, like no license. Is that probably you're not, like a citizen. Probably, I, like you like declare sovereignty over your own name or something. I don't. It's kind of complicated. Oh, that's but. weird. That sounds just kind of shitty. That just sounds like there's no benefits. Well, because technically taxation with the IRS is technically illegal. So, well, you opt, but you opt into the system by like claiming a tax ID number and stuff with your social security system. But you have to have that for like a job or like anything, unless you're like farming a farmer or something or like, like that a, like self-sustainable or something or like on an Indian reservation what's the issue oh, there? yeah uh, no, I, I think, think the, so there's a little stencil little Scientology stencil. done messed up your stencil and I think either when we were driving or something the stencil it has to be in the exact right position so if it gets like jiggled like off little, like the stencil's like that big oh wow and so if it gets did you get it laser etched or something or? yeah oh wow so if it gets we had to get a custom order it, it's made out of glass wow so if it's off by just like that much like it ruins the whole thing jeez so it's gonna be in the exact this is gonna be a perfect one because it's Scientology and right underneath this sucks this would be a good one I think yeah, the services didn't look that awesome. They're just like kind of like say the same shit over and over. It's like, mm. uh. Well, you should come out with I feel so bad for those people though. Like they're literally work 12 hours a day for nothing. They can't do anything. Yeah. Like well, they're they, shipped they around on those buses. They spend their whole day at like Hollywood Boulevard too and all these public places handing out things. And hey, do you want to watch the seminar on like psychiatry museum of death and destruction or whatever because l ron hubbard got rejected from psychiatry so he has this mission against psychiatry but he wanted to actually be in psychiatry journals and stuff but they like basically just wrote him off and like embarrassed them and shit so he went on this tirade against them uh-oh it says sucks I'm an expert at talking over someone. Yeah, my bad. I get excited. Nope, I guess not. Hey, 
Are you guys gonna be doing any like footage? Do you ever do any uh, events? Do you guys ever go events or anything for? Actually, we're going to. We need to invite you to one. Uh, okay. That, it's a week from today. I don't know what you're doing, but. Uh, I was thinking about going to this post-apocalyptic LARP thing. Oh, nice. Yeah, it sounds weird. That's sweet. If I, I gotta get contact on though. It's like an hour outside of LA. What's the thing you're doing? Uh, we're doing our first church service, so we're throwing the world's greatest party. We're getting a bunch of content creators to show up. Like, I think like David Dobrik will be there. Um, oh, nice. Uh, you know who Shirley's is? And, like, yeah, like, Shirley's. Be there. I've uh, met David a couple times. He was he did a little interview with me once. He was really nice. nice. But it's, it's gonna be the world's greatest party. It's gonna be like just like a bunch of extreme stuff happening. Yeah, I'd love to go to that. Well, I'll give you all the details about it after this. I Sounds good. Be, it's just gonna be like full of like content creators, and the the goal is to like make it go big, and, uh, and then people will talk about it. Yeah, that'd be sick. Oh, that's sick. Is there a way to focus it more? No, yeah, it, it, we'll, we'll get it like crystal, crystal clear. We just gotta, we just gotta focus it. Can they get you for using their logo, for like? copyright infringement or something for using their for logo this? in it yeah for like your own religion or whatever i don't think so maybe we haven't we haven't uh, figured that part out yet but that's that's why it might get disapproved in the, the irs that's the only reason that we can see it oh out. wow it got bright now <laughs> yeah sucks. it looks yes <laughs> that's huge it sucks so big <laughs> i know it's like scientology is just so small and it sucks <laughs> Make the socks really stand out. Yeah, dude. We did it, guys! <laughs> Scientology sucks! Dude, hopefully they come out again. Dude, no way they, they don't know. We got a code five. We got a code five. We did it! OT3s. <laughs> come to... Take that, Scientology! Take that! What? What? Why is your the plungers a part of their religion? It's kind of funny how big the sucks is. This is this is actually a pretty good one. It's starting to rain a little bit. Oh, is it really? There's see the mist coming down the light. It is. It's raining. It's a Christmas miracle, Mr. Scrooge. Is that a drone? Are you, you got a drone up in the air or what? That's a drone or is that an airplane up there? crashed it. Uh, is that a drone or an airplane? It's definitely an airplane. Oh, wow. Oh, it's fused. <laughs> Sit on and off. Unidentified flying object. It looks like a drone. No way that's an airplane. Probably a visitor. Oh, it is a, it's a helicopter. We had a drone and then we, we crashed it. Uh, like 20 minutes before we met you. You crashed your drone? Yeah, it's, it's on top of the roof. That blows. Oh, fuck. Was it one of, like a Mavic Mini or? Oh no. Oh god, it's that much? Oh no. Alright, it's not even rain, it's like a very light The board and the light just ride the cab. I gotta play back. This one's super anticlimactic. Yeah, I'm sorry, you came to literally the worst one. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're glad to be here. Yeah. It's so funny, but like the last ones, people, they were coming out, like... Yeah, they were getting pissed. It got, it got intense. The cops came, they had to get the sergeant. They might have just got the memo that we could Well, it's also like... Oh, okay. uh, uh, they they don't have a living station here. Yeah. But don't, I, they tell all the people, don't then, look out the windows. Know, it's it it's a we lockdown. Down. We should have got Xenu, so they were like, you know, avert your eyes. Oh, you're right. Did we, did we leave you a picture? I already got it. No, I mean, about standing in front of it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Did you guys get any footage, though, of it already? Oh, yeah, I already got this. 
this is just the outro. Oh, okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Should we do it with uh, the camera, Michael? No. We're getting a picture, but no. That's not a picture camera. Should we do it with uh, our camera? You guys made your own Bible? It's 106 nice. pages of uh, different languages of Scientology Jeez. sucks. Jeez. Jeez. That's enough for me. At least it isn't graffiti on public property. That's right. Or property damage. That's right. It's just temporary. It's hard, hard work making a religion. Why does Scientology steal the cross symbol? I don't know. That's a good question. Because they, like, denounce Christianity pretty much, so... Don't know why. Yeah, you can't see the raindrops. Ah! <laughs> got it, and one more, and got it, work it. Work it, work it. Nice. Wanna get a picture? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Huh? Wanna get a picture? Me? Oh, yeah, sure. I've got this thing connected. Well, I could just get my... Oh, I can just... Yeah, I'll just oh, do yeah, this. Oh, I got you. I'll, I'll I can just oh, you it. can just selfie, yeah. Because I got a... You got a gimbal. All right, well, is it, should we, like, end it? Because this is going to be the last clip, I assume. Should we do like... It, oh, should, it should was on Tosh.0? Like you want me to ask him about Tosh.0? Yeah, oh, Tosh.0! Yeah. yeah, what was Tosh.0 like? Oh, it was fun. Uh, it was chill. Exactly what you think it would be. What did he have you do on there? I didn't Crazy. see it yet. Uh, I slacklined inside his office. We, They have this thing called a office treadmill. That's a new hip thing that they're doing now in offices where you, you walk at a treadmill as you work. It's like you're supposed to exercise. So we created the world's first office slack on. Oh, that's cool. The on it. And we, we did it. Yeah, they just went crazy with it. It was fun. Nice. And Dude, we recorded Tosh it. Did you there. get paid for that show? What? Did you get paid for oh, being yeah. on it? Oh, that's yeah, nice. Sure. Yeah, that's going to make a ton of money. That was actually a whole ordeal because like, they didn't listen to us to bolt into the oh, ground. Oh, drop somebody. Oh, we need that. Oh, is that something sick, is it? Oh, it's oh. my uh, subway tap for this one. Uh, All right, should we end it? Oh, oh, you can do different what colors? What I need that? You can do different colors? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. play some music. This, this like guy's hidden camera at Big Blue was amazing. Oh, okay. They said a big, the hidden camera at Big Blue. So we did it, Big Blue. Yeah, you guys have seen his videos too then. Nice. That's <laughs> going so fast, I love it. Oh, there's the cops! <laughs> the cops showed up! Oh no! Oh, they're angry! God damn it! Is that the <laughs> real, the nice. real police, huh? Here we go, dealing with more cops. Oh yeah! Oh no! Maybe he's not here for us. Maybe he's he's here for them. I don't know. I doubt it. <laughs> there is a police guy right we're there. Like, we're like, let's take it down. Oh, I'm getting glad we stayed. Right, yeah, maybe uh, turn no, it no, off. No, I would, keep rocking, no, keep no, rocking, no, keep dude. The cops rocking, here. Rocking. That's why we should keep it No, no. The, you don't want to mess with the cops, dude. I take it back. It's not going to be anticlimactic. No, oh, we'll, keep no. It on, we'll keep it on. We'll keep it on. Uh, we, we, we checked. If, if the cops say to take it down, then yeah, it'll be like, okay, we'll take it down. We might have to move. Like, we're not going to we're not gonna disagree with them on that. Yeah. This is cops have shot oh, no, people for less. Yeah, yeah true. If, if, uh... No, he's just running radar. You sure? No, but that's what it looks like. Like, look. He's not moving. Well, he didn't say to take it down yet. <laughs> Maybe he's taking a picture of this. I don't know. <laughs> Said the worst like, is that we'll get a warning. He's like, bro. I need a good view of this. Like, Dude, what else? This is so good. Like, look how big the words are compared to the song. It's <laughs> <laughs> so good. It is like down the street, so everybody driving can see it. Oh! Oh! He left. <laughs> he did. He just wanted a picture. That's all he wanted. He just wanted a photo to send to his friends. <laughs> he made a picture. Yes. <laughs> you guys got the police awesome. approval on that one. We dealt, we dealt with these guys 
too many times. We're not dealing with them again. They radioed and they're like, hey, uh, I'm outside the Scientology building. They cut them off. Yeah, we already know. They're fine. <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty okay. funny. Oh. I was worried. Oh. Honestly, I was. I'm not worried. I just figured it was going to be another. So, uh, it was Ben's idea. Blame it all on Ben. Ben did it's it. Ben and Mike's idea. So He's got to take credit for this. They're doing it for their YouTube or something. Yeah, we're just doing this for content, officer. Well, I, am, I am satisfied. I will say here's what you guys want. Should we get us walking and thanking the fans for this? Because this is. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Because we weren't because uh, Q accidentally messed up. Oh no, I want to. I really want to see that. So maybe we should just do it here. We can just do it here and like do the outro. Let's do it. Yeah, you won't be able to get all of it in if you're too close. Yeah, definitely. I need the Bible. <laughs> nice. We'll get a little behind the scenes, guys. Be real quiet. <laughs> quiet on the set. What kind of boom are you guys using? Uh, a Rode NTG2. I have that mic. Do you like it? It's not bad. I had some like right. MT88 something. The Sennheiser? No, it was some I, was like, I was thinking about getting that new uh, I want an the, MK416 uh, I thought about getting one of those uh, Deity Deity mics, Deity Pro Or something This is it Thanks for uh, yeah. bearing through 10 episodes guys yeah, I know it got a little dicey At episode 8 and episode 9 But I hope we, uh, we came back strong With episode 10 I, I hope you guys that stuck through it, really enjoyed it, loved it. Yeah, stay tuned for the next series though. Uh, you can click right there on Michael's face. Yeah. Michael was asking. Uh, well, anyways, I'm not doing the same thing. If, if you liked our. Yay! <laughs> oh, hell yeah. We were like, uh, but, uh, this is some fans. But, uh, yeah, you guys rock. This was all because of you guys. All of this money. All like, this was all because of you guys. All the money that you donated us went, went towards, towards this, this stunt. I wish it was a Yeah, it went towards this, guys. It all went through all this. At Big Blue for this one, all the other ones that we did, all the interactions that we dealt with, with the cops, was worth it for you guys. So thanks, you guys rock, stick with us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy, dude, these fans are wild. You guys rock, I like how that's like, mm, the next thing, you yeah. know, Greg, so. Yeah, because we're going to do the, uh, the Hollywood rocks. The next thing. Yeah, I caught that. Always, always I picked plug, up on always that. plug. I caught and that. viewers don't go too hard on us on our outros, we're still learning. Oh, these guys? Oh, the people on the internet, they're not critical of every fucking little no, tiny thing. Different. No, oh, of course not. No. no. That's incredible. They're so strange. Wait, are they getting yeah. a photo? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Should we go talk to them? <laughs> yeah, they look hot. Uh-oh, they think you're... They, they see the plunger. They're worried. Hi, I'm just... It's never been used. You got anything clogged? <laughs> That's a part of your religion, right? That's plunger? Plunger's not for... I guess you could unclog it. This is... For, uh, for, it's for your religion, right? Yeah, and it's for a huge uh, disasters only. Hey! Another police officer, nice. Yeah, so we did it on this one, we did it on the international one, we did it on the Celebrity Center and Big Blue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're oh, here no, no, yeah. new religion. Problems. Nothing but, but problems. problems. Yeah. But, but they, uh, well, it's, it's not, not illegal, illegal so. we haven't been arrested, it's all legal. And Every it's time awesome. the cops shoot calls, awesome. they always let us go. No, the Scientologists are just happy. It's just funny, they don't like it. Uh, it's called Infiltrating Scientology, the channel's Reckless Bell. Reckless Bell. Yeah. You guys wanna check it out? Get high, make lunch, get out. Get high, get high, check it out. Alright, ciao guys. Thank <laughs> hey you guys. So Alright, I'm content, we talked to some people that enjoyed it. Nice. I'm happy with it. That was good. That was fun. And then the cop pulled up and went away. I think that's the most exciting thing we're going to see. That was awesome. Bible? Sure. This is our copy, so I figured, like, sure. you're, you're along for this ride. Might as well. I actually don't have a pen. <laughs> can, I, can you sign in blood? Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. You're really deep. I mean, I, have to this up. I can sign in whatever you want, Buttercup. <laughs> Give me five minutes around the corner, I'll sign with something else. Alright with that. Yeah. Up with that pretty good. Can see it under black light. <laughs> yeah, hey, no, how's that work? Uh yeah, I'm a back around Hollywood. That's where we're at. We're literally right next to the big blue. Oh, yeah, okay. Well we uh I think they finally figured it out. Uh just don't give them content, just stay inside. Yeah. If they would have just stayed inside and left us alone like this, it's just like <laughs> they would have been so boring all the time. I mean I say because they went out and like they gave us a reaction. Yeah, it was funny for the first. I don't want to blow. I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste. It. I don't want to give anything away. Let me check the. Go ahead.
Go out to check out episode 10 on Reckless Ben on YouTube. I love that YouTube. So, Ted, if we can plug, what's your video you're working on? Uh, I just named this one. I'm gonna name it Reckless <laughs> Ben behind the scenes. It's something thing. Big Burger, right? Is it? Mine's Burger Plane. It's the name of my channel. Yeah, I followed Burger. you on uh, Instagram. Oh, okay. Well, I'll shoot you guys a message. <laughs> I mean, love to see y'all. Dude, like, every like, single person just slams on their brakes. They're like flying like through. Like, like what? Like, what? <laughs> They're doing triple flips. Yeah. Every single person. I guess you could say it's an Acker man, like something what the, the letters stand for different <laughs> stuff like Scientology. seeking understanding can keep oh, say, saving <laughs> keep saving keep it keeps saving keep, keep souls Scientology under the cans keep saving <laughs> that's funny What are you boys doing? He's taking a photo. <laughs> Dear Daddy. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. You guys, uh, the whole thing is infiltrating Scientology if you want to like get high and binge watch for an hour. <laughs> That's his. If you want to get high and watch it, make sure you smoke at least an ounce of weed. Hey, uh, we did it. This is actually promotion for our religion. We just created a religion. It's recognized by the United States government. It's called Scientology Sucks. And we believe that everyone in our religion should become tax exempt for partying. And, uh, and we're just we're just here promoting our religion. We did all the Scientology buildings today. And it's uh, just, just our way of evangelizing to the world. I love it. I love it. Oh, thanks. Take care, man. Have a good night. the last people to see it. Take it down. That was fun. And that's so This was the end of our series. We've worked so hard. I'll check it out. This is our last clip. Hey, would it be possible for you to send this foot, all the footage you got to us, too? Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you want. Are you just live streaming? Yeah. It's just live uh, to YouTube. Oh, no. oh okay. I have to download. I could send it to you through uh, like Google Drive or something. Okay. Yeah. We can also just because all the like fan interactions. This is gonna be per like we can have this in the end too. Yeah, if you want, Ooh, I've got this yeah. gimbal too, so it's pretty smooth. Yeah, that thing's probably like badass. Yeah, it looks nice. Dang, I, I kind of don't want to take it down because it's all the people. I are, know. You know this is fun. Like it's sad. They're kind of just enjoying so it. Because this is literally it. Like after this, Get here, like, we're done. Five. There, there's no more. There's no more Scientology stuff after this. I know. It's on to the next project though. Kind of start messing with us. Well, One yeah, chapter so closes, another chapter begins. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's been a long road. It feels good. Bro. How long have you guys been filming this series? Like, when did you actually months, start it? Dude. It's been months. But we started it when we were still living in our car. Yeah. Well, how long ago was that? It was uh, three months ago. Last year, like beginning of December. Yeah. Yeah, beginning of December is when we started. October, so, November, November. when each video comes out each week, were you guys filming it the week before and then launching it at the no, end of the week? That so that would have blown our cover. We couldn't do that. Oh, yeah. We, uh, Wait we till filmed, it... We were filmed everything. We did everything. And then once he finally got exposed, it was like, all right, time to start editing and posting it all. But no, he was in the, he was in the building every single day for like 10 to 12 hours every day. Just so like playing the park and Two and a half, three weeks. Yeah. Just getting as much as we can, like building our trust and just going in farther and farther. And then they just kept presenting us opportunities. So like the leaf blower one, like that one was awesome to do. The uh, the one where he went to go get a job, that one was like, cause the girl was like, just go clear your mind. Yeah, go just go get a job. Just, I'm gonna get a job. And I'm like, gonna get a job. What if we actually did? Yeah. This? <laughs> I like whenever that lady's like, family's so important. And then that someone in the ch in the Ooh. comments commented that yeah. she hadn't seen her mom or talked to her, her mom in six yeah. years. Yeah. Her daughter. Oh, that was crazy. Was that? I wonder if it really was or not. Her daughter, well, but I, oh. I think so. Because we had other like, the same Scientology name. people hitting us up to do interviews, and they were the ones 
that brought that to our attention was them. So it was like Chris Shelton. Could they get uh, mad that you filmed on their property without permission though? Like could they get you for that or in the long run? Or Maybe. They just hit us up with a YouTube thing. So we had to like blur all the faces. Oh, but, you did? Yeah. yeah. I had to. Yeah, I had to blur all the faces. Of all the people? Oh, because they, the yeah. they didn't have consent to Otherwise, be filming. Yeah, and we were like, Wait, yeah. Did we already do all that? I did that already, yeah. You should have to feature that on the blurs and Yeah, so I did you that. Yeah, the faces, the blurs, we already keep our faces pretty well. Well, that kind of sucks. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know you love me. They don't want anything getting out about their what they do behind the scenes, you know? What's up, guys? Welcome, fans. <laughs> or Scientology, just one of the two. Oh, I know he's talking about It's all yeah, a joke. We believe, in. we believe in the giant plunger in the sky who sent down his only son, the regular size golden plunger down the earth. out of context, and all it just sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is crazy. Hey, guys, take care. Enjoy. I believe in the force. Yeah. The force. May yeah. the force be with you. May the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, they have to turn around. They get the photo. <laughs> oh, we need to have people, here just to see We it. need to have people tag us. <laughs> be like, yo, tag us. Take a photo of Good idea. That's okay. <laughs> oh, you can see sucks in the in the mix. Look at it. If you look at it from the right. Oh, I oh just that was both away. of us. I was like, I didn't release that much. That oh, one? it was the smoke. <coughs> That's funny. Oh. Can I hit that? Huh? Is it? <coughs> oh, it's definitely it's <coughs> You can. I mean, yeah, if you want. Thanks. Sure. It's like cool. This is a nicotine vape. Don't do it. Loki don't smoke, so do I have to hold it? I saw that Joe Rogan interview with that guy that was David Yaskinich's, <laughs> oh, uh, Ron Miscavich's dad. That was crazy. That was crazy because he's like, I'm not allowed to touch, to talk to my son and all that. That's what made me want to do this. I, I, I knew nothing about Scientology. I watched that video. I was like, let's do a freaking video on Scientology. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy how many people have come out of like, just, have they been hurt? When that, la yeah, that lady, that lady Leah, whatever. I watched room. most of yeah. Joe Rogan things, and I was like, I knew really she's really seen our videos. videos. <coughs> what so, I don't know if it's true. Oh, Rob. there's another fan. <coughs> uh, oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <coughs> okay, let's do it. <coughs> Pretty fun. Hey, and guys, oh, they got around. free RV parking oh, over yeah, here. Hold hey, hold up. This one last person's turning around. All right, all right, this guy's in. He's in. He's turning around. Yeah, I'm really surprised. No sign. Don't tell it to suck. Hell yeah! yeah. Alright, cool. That was actually the best case scenario. Nice. That'll be good for the video. I know. So, like, this whole thing. Well, we yeah, I can send me the footage. Perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. You can also do it just on YouTube. Just YouTube that before. Yeah, if you guys just want to capture it, you can. What you want out of it. If you put it full screen on your thing and just capture the full yeah. screen, it's gonna be as, probably as good as it was gonna. We can just do that. Yeah. It's kind of fun. It's like more entertaining when it's uh, shitty quality because I like it. Look at this Uber stopping. That's fun. When it's like the low quality, I don't know. I think I think it's funnier. Uh, you need help? Cars are going normal speed now. Oh, it's uh, that was fun. Yeah, it's done. That was a fun adventure though, because I was just about to go home and do nothing. So hey, you, it's the, you were headed this way, and we were like, "Nah, man, we're going this way." Yeah, why not? You're probably thinking, "Yeah, why not?" Home, get high, little jerk off, <laughs> eat some pretzels. My God, have we met before? <laughs> have you met me in the future? Or something? Well, he's he's not you you can read know. my mind. Damn, dude. Yeah, that was pretty much Sorry. what I was gonna do. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Gold Rush. I watched Gold Rush last night. I got nothing to do. Ink oh, Masters sorry, no, isn't until Tuesday. <laughs> watched some Shark Tank last night. So, uh, <laughs> you, so the content that you make, like you said, it's kind of like um, all gas, no brakes. Where you interview people? Yeah, you I go like out and go interview people at a lot of stuff. events. 
I was editing a lot of stuff, but I just get way more views and stuff on my live streams for some reason. I went to this Trump protest and wore a MAGA hat and acted like I was a Trump supporter. And there was only like 13 <laughs> Trump supporters. And then I was, then they took pictures of me for USA Today and uh, New York Times. And I was on Jimmy Kimmel as a Trump supporter and said a little funny thing like, I'm from Indiana, one of the greatest... Uh, states in our or countries in our union or something. And I said they're real dumb, and they're like, "Oh yeah, put this guy on. He's dumb." Yeah, yeah. Is that the same dude? But <laughs> then they saw my picture of like Trump supporter for USA Today, and the Occupy Democrats have been using my face as the face of Trump supporters. So they're like, Trump says to take away abortions, and they'll use my face in a circle, like with the, my little. Yeah, I'm on like a ton of memes and stuff, which. And no one knows really it's me, but... Dude, you should make a video about that. Yeah, you? how I became like, a Trump meme. I fucking oh, yeah. hate Trump, too, like, but... You should, you should, how I, I, like, I like Bernie. Trump. That but. would be a great YouTube video. How I pulled this off. Yeah. yeah. Like, how I became the face of hate or something. Yeah, the same way we did our Scientology shoes. Like, that how we stuck into Scientology. And, like, you just showed the whole That's story about it. I let it go for a couple years because I didn't want to, like, screw it up. And then uh -huh. they know that I was a, it was a troll, but... It's just been a while. It's time to come out. Yeah. Should, to come out I need to make the video. Just make it like a story. Well, all my viewers know like, that I hate Trump. Like, so. like put, the, put the viewer yeah. in the same shoes you were and going through the whole thing. You're like, oh, I can't believe this is happening. Oh, this is happening now. Oh, this is happening. That's a good idea. I should do that. Back, like, how I became a Trump supporter me. And then... Dude, that I would probably get a lot of views. What's the most responsible for roof damage? Is there a roof damage? Yeah, it's right there. Is it, is it bad? Yeah, it's the damage, you dumbass. Is it bad? Is it bad damage? Or I know. It's not. I'm, uh, I'm sending you a quote if I get charged. Let me see. Oh, you, they're not gonna know. Can't this even tell. That, that one was already the there. the truck, man. What are you doing? That one was oh, already there. What? Oh, no. Use the plunger. Oh, yeah, plunge pop out, it up. Plunge out the pop tent. it out. Yeah, just plunge it. Have you seen videos of girl, like people getting like dildos? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen one of the dildo. Oh, I saw. I saw that. the one where someone put a flashlight on the end of an exhaust and it was like. <laughs> 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 I was pissed though because I'm like, I could have fucked that thing, dude. You wasted it. That's just a waste. That could have been my my fucking cyber girlfriend. That's Wasted. Just a waste of a perfectly good pocket pussy. Yeah. Uh, I hope that was a reclaimed or slightly used one at least. Maybe that was this old one. He's like, I got a new one, it's good. I've got the new and improved yeah. teen up one. Twenty bucks from Amazon. Alright, I'm uh are you guys? I guess I'll head back to the house. We should we shouldn't drive this car any extra than we have to because mileage. Yeah, I need to take us back to the house. We can. <coughs> oh, I'm down to chill if you still want to chill. I don't know if you got. Yeah, plans. sure. I could turn this off anytime. We can like. If you guys, we can we go back to work. Some computers over your place and get to do the footage. I don't have a place. I actually am a van dwelling right now, so oh, for yeah, real? I can't really go to my place. You can go to our chill place, at our place. Yeah, if you want. Have one sure. Crazy roommate. That Someone might, that might give me a, a ride. idea because Will's there. He'll complain about the As the long 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 We'll get rid of him soon. We're working on it. We've got, we've got the plot. Have you tried putting cyanide in the drinking water? Not yet. Okay, no. don't. Okay, that's, that's illegal. That's don't like do that. That's called murder. Right, what was your name again? He said that we could do it. <laughs> no, I said don't. I just asked, have you? I didn't say do it. I'll catch you guys back in the house. All right, you guys, sweet. Uh, I guess we'll drive you back to your car. That way your car's not just sitting in Hollywood. Oh, yeah, where is your car? Um, I'm parked over in Hollywood, but I don't really want people to know where I parked because they might try to vandalize it or something. Okay. To keep some people when you're live, people could like take advantage of your <laughs> shit. Like, oh, let's oh, go wow. fuck your shit up. Well, someone cut my tire once. That's, that's crazy that you can do van yeah. life in Hollywood. And we did it, we were over at Santa Monica. We had tons of parking spots. Yeah, I just. Hollywood sounds so much harder. I did a lot of traveling. I hit up a lot of those canyons you mentioned. Like, I went oh. through the southern rim of the Grand Canyon, then up to right. Page, Arizona, to Antelope Canyon, and <laughs> saw some slot canyons. and Horseshoe nice. Bend and went to Zion and Bryce and Good Arches. Nice. All you do the van life for? Um, on and off like three years, and I took like nine or ten months off, and it was just getting too much, and I wanted to take some time to 
see some old friends and make some videos and spend time with grandma and grandpa and I would stuff. I'd love to get like a really yeah. big RV. 45 foot. I thought it for what? Like four RVs are tough, man. I think I could been a lot of these van things and just if you like pimp out a van with like a kitchen and I could do the RV with it, like 45 foot because then it's a whole house. How do you move it back? Here, oh, it's still oh, yeah. I thought four months was a lot. <laughs> This is also the car we were living out of before, so it was a van. Oh, wow. Yeah, living in a car is... Um, At so least I can lay down and sleep. Our house. Well, it's, I, do, I can just take an Uber back to my van later. Okay. I'll just leave it you there. Sure? Oh, yeah. We live right by Big Blue, so... Oh, that's not too far. How far away it is. Sometimes I go to the clubhouse and do improv over there by the Fat Burger. Oh, nice. On Vermont. Oh, I guess to put that right down, huh? Sweet. Hey, Scientologists, if you're watching, uh, follow where we're going, and you'll you'll figure out where we live. <laughs> oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, we'll Scientologists, make a, we'll make it a puzzle. For subscribe them. to my channel. We love, I love you. After, after, after you find I'm only out, documenting the madness. After you find out where we live, then subscribe. <laughs> yeah, no, they're gonna start mailing you shit. Oh, did you give? Did they ever find out your real address? Because they'll just mail you shit forever. Yeah, well, they'll mail you Spam stuff. Your they email. Want you to join, but I don't think they like us. They're still, you're, they're gonna mail you stuff probably. You're probably in the auto mailer system if they have your address. He did accidentally get invited to a party. Yeah, yeah the girls are hot and they try to lure you there with the hot women, so I think, for guys. And then, I don't know, it's just really weird. They have some. That compound in the desert sounds really scary. <laughs> they have a compound in the desert? Well, isn't that where no that's way. where that. What'd you say, David Miskanovich's dad was living at this on the desert or something? Oh, that's true. I, mean, I mean, they have Gold Base, which is like their big, big headquarters. Is that the one he was at? Uh, not him. Was he in no. Florida or was he in? Is that in Florida? Or is I think it? David lives in Florida. Clearwater. Clearwater is where they own the most. They must have something in Texas because I met a dude that works at the Celebrity Center. He said he's from Texas. I was like, how did you get in this? Supposedly Beck was. Brought up Scientologist. Back, who's, who's Beck? Like that Beck the musician. Table. Two turntables and a microphone, oh. Beck. Oh, that's crazy. Two turntables and a microphone. And yeah, when I was living in New York one night, my friend hit me up and said, What are you doing tonight? I was like, I'm just chilling. He's like, I want to go to a Beck, con Beck concert. I got an extra ticket. I'm like, Well, shit, dude, I don't know if I got enough, enough money for that. He's like, Just come with me. I was like, I got your ticket. I was like, hell yeah, dude, let's go. It was dope. It was a really good show. That's funny. Yeah, there's some uh, crazy Scientologists. They're like actual famous people, which is it, it's Well, they treat them different than the people that live in those like dorms and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they treat them different. They people get, in the dorms only get like $50 a month to live on. A month? Yeah. Or a week. Was it a month or a week? Either either one is not very good. Fifty a week. Okay, so two hundred dollars. But also they get a lot per diem, so it, it, it it's better than people make it out to be. I but still, they don't. well right? they well they get like food probably in like no, a they, dining they, they hall. they get food, they get housing, they get clothes. <sighs> uh, so really, the fifty bucks is fifty bucks for fun, but it's still like they don't give you enough money to start a new life though. Afterwards, you're like have to kids stay in their system. Yeah, that's the problem. That when can they have fun? Because they can't. They work like sixteen hour days. Yeah, but seven also, days a week. Yeah, I see the same. I do Hollywood Boulevard quite a bit. And there's always the same people every day. Well, no, making our religion, we figured out that the reason they only get paid fifty bucks a week is because if they got paid more, they would have to start paying taxes on it. Uh, wait, no, because do churches pay taxes on like the pastor's salary? Well, they're not the pastor, though. I don't know. That's just what Dude, I, I wonder what, saying. like, the main guy makes off of it a year. Oh, David? I yeah, think right? He gets of money. They used to be one of the number one real estate holdings in Los Angeles, I heard. I think they're number two right now. Wow. They are number one in Clearwater, Florida. They own almost all of that. No kidding. Yeah, they own... I, it's a big business. Was it $3 trillion that they owned or the churches owned? I'm not sure. So, no, probably no, not. I don't think they own but it's a lot. It's got to be a lot. What's the difference between a religion and a cult? 
the taxes. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty true. much, yeah. So what's the craziest live you think you've ever done? <clears throat> well, one night I was walking up the boulevard. I go to like Venice and sometimes downtown, like little uh -huh. Tokyo. But I saw Andy, <laughs> Andy Dick and he was completely wasted out of his mind, just walking around like a zombie. And I bought him a bottle of water to try to help him out. He was this fucking sauce. Like, he should have just been in bed or something, you know? Like, he's fucking could barely walk. And his son, that's 21, is trying to help him walk. He takes a bottle of water and just pours it on his son's head. Cool. That's Scientology bus is right there, I think. Oh, sweet. Scientology bus? I think so. It was all blacked out windows. Yeah, their windows are always tinted black. Like, you can't see the people inside. And then all the curtains are always pulled in the dorms and everything. Interesting. Yeah. You really see the people go in or out. You see them go in or out, but you don't see them, like, once they're in there. Or people, like, interacting or doing anything. That's crazy. <laughs> so, then I see these two guys, and they're harassing this dude wearing a dress. And then she busts out a taser, and I was just recording it. And they are like, saw me recording it, like delete that fucking video, bro, and I'm like, I can't delete it, it's live, like, people have already Wait, made... Scientology was telling you this? No, this was just some random thugs, like, in the boulevard, oh, and then dang. they spit in the, uh, now I was talking to this other transgender woman, she, they spit in her face, and then she swung on the guy, and then she fucking ran off, and then I'm, like, trying to fight off two dudes and holding the selfie stick, and they end up kicking my ass, some random fucking dude that was, like, hip-hop dancing is like, oh, are we hitting this guy? I want to hit him, too. He fucking hits me a couple of times. My head's all fucking lumped up. Then I find the transgender woman, like, up the block. She's, like, kind of, like, crying, like, fuck them, fuck them. All this shit. I'm like, fuck, I don't know what the fuck. I got my ass beat. Damn, that sucks. And then they find a the cop, and then we reporting them to the cops, and then, then... We ended up finding one of the guys because they came back, and then they had the two helicopters flying around trying to find these guys. Oh, and we found one of the guys, and then we found the other guy too. And he was at this, uh, he was at the, the that high Hollywood High School down there. He jumped oh, over the yeah. fence. They had they were gonna release dogs. Then he came out. <laughs> Dude, like it was this whole thing. We had to go and identify him and shit. But it's all in one of my live streams too. It was like a movie. That's so intense. It just said, like, starring Andy Dick or whatever at the beginning. Oh, my God. That was fucking weird, man. And, and we should probably go downstairs, by the way, because Damien's not home. It's Saturday. You don't care for noise. Well, also, doesn't Alex... Didn't Alex and Jody go to bed? They are like, they left early, too. Yeah. They, they don't care. Oh, yeah, I'm down. Uh, I'm actually probably going to start editing. Just because... Dude, I'm going to be so stressed with this tomorrow. I'm going to get up my mind. There's so much left to edit. When are you trying to drop this video by? Dude, we try and strive to get it every Monday, which... Well, if you guys are just going to bed or working, you know, I can you can drop me off if you want. I don't know if it's funny. He's the one that's doing all that. Yeah. So I don't think you can probably hang out with Michael and Andrew. I'll, I'll probably... Can you, you just drop me off on Gower? Say, the only thing I have to do tomorrow is go to the beach before I get up. Yeah, Andrew, what time do you wake up today? Like, 3 p.m. <laughs> or 2 p.m.? I mean... <coughs> <laughs> Michael's yeah, like, me, me and Michael I thought I woke up late at 11, and then, and then Michael's like, it's like 1.30 or 2, and I was like, you ready to film it? I'm like, yeah, I'm awake now, it's 2 o'clock, it's like middle of the day, it's pretty late, and then he's like, okay, I'm gonna get Andrew, and then he's like, wait, Andrew's still asleep, I'm like, okay, I'll just keep editing. <laughs> I'd imagine most of our actors are probably home right now that have been in our series. Oh, yeah? Is that one guy, your roommate, that was trying to be like the crazy guy or whatever? Guy. Or a guy that was kind of the bad guy in the scenes. Oh, yeah. He, oh, he, Alex. Yeah, yeah, he's the guy who left early because he has to wake up tomorrow early. He morning. was just taking, I bet. Yeah, I saw some progression in like yeah. color correction and stuff like that when you guys were filming that stuff. They were yeah. getting better, like episode by episode. Well, when we first started, we finally got that new mic because the first mic I had was really bad. Then we got the new one. Kind of improving then, your gears. You then it was like we kept money. running out of time, so then we started like etching out more time to do it. I do a lot of sketch comedy and edited things and. I have a series that I do in front of a green screen, and a oh, sketch sweet. comedy one too, and I just kind of write out some different scenes that I want to do and oh, was, play the different characters each each scene. That's pretty fun. Yeah, we're, um, 
There's a guy sushi dragon. Ready that's to uh, start doing like actual production stuff for my channel. Oh, nice. What kind of videos do you make? Um, I, nothing yet. But we're gonna do. I think uh, like a, some actual like drama pieces. That'd be cool. I'd like to do that. Any if you need any actors, hit me up for sure. I'm trying to get yeah. any kind of experience. And yeah, I'll get your your info. Yeah. We may. We're trying to. Uh, are you kidding me? I caught up to Michael again. <laughs> It's funny. Like guys, I'm joining a new religion. <laughs> Something about a plunger. Scientology sucks. Yeah, we just had the plunger in Area 51, everyone loved it. And so we were like, and we had a joke that that I was gonna go back in time and, and bring a plunger back instead of weapons. Like that was like the first joke we thought of for part eight. Like, what if we like went back and, and brought back a plunger? That'd be funny. And they're like, wait, why would I bring a plunger back? That makes no sense. And I was like, well, what if the plungers are God and we worship them? <laughs> they're like, oh, let's believe in the giant plunger in the sky. And then, and then we made the plunger cross. Yeah, none of this was pre-planned. They said, Burger, sort of just happened. you're being abducted. It's part of the yeah. prank. Oh no. Yeah, party, party, party. Yeah. Nine, that was all. Like we just thought of it, and then. I want to tell my family that I love them. And, and, this was the last time I see you. I'm joining a new religion. I don't know if I'll be back. <laughs> no, it's, it's not a. Uh, Ours not, is good. Uh, it, this is like. Love you, mom. This is, uh, Sorry, grandma. I wasn't there religion. enough. With no promises you'll get roofied, but. Oh, uh, not well. I, I've been to I've been to Bourbon Street. I know all about that. <laughs> I was but, drinking uh, random drinks. I got wasted. <laughs> But, uh, a good chance we're not gonna be the ones problems. that do it to you. If, if I don't that, drink if anymore. I just smoke the herbs, so yeah, I was yeah. like pretty much an alcoholic, so I had to like put the brakes on it. Oh, wow. I'm almost a year no drinking. It was the but, opposite for us. Me and Mike. But I wake we and like, bake. Oh, we're in becoming. The <laughs> me and Mike, we were like, oh, we're becoming stoners. We need to. We need to. So we just recently just stopped smoking, and now what we do. Is I don't drink. Drink. Yeah, I want to just stop. I just started smoking. I'm all about it. I think I'm gonna join Scientology, go clear, stop smoking cigarettes, or I don't smoke cigarettes, I'm vaping, but stop that, and then get off the cannabis, find Xenon. Xenu. Xenu. Or Zemu, as uh, it might also be called. Xenu. Uh, go to the volcano. Xenu. <coughs> Do they get hot chicks too? Hot chicks? Do we have hot chicks? No, on the volcano with Z Xenu. Uh, if they are in the volcano, then they're dead. They're sacrificed already. There's, the, there's big oh, blood. There's the, there's the big building. Dude, we should just project Yeah, so much big... bloodlust. It would be really funny to project on that one again. Oh, that's hilarious. I mean, I don't know. I feel like we'd just be, like, milking it too much if we did that. Like, there'd, yeah. there'd be no... Like, we, we did it. We made our point. There'd be no reason. It would seem like harassment at that point yeah. if you do it multiple times, I think. That's just building more of a case against yourself if they try to take, make a civil case about it or something. I mean, we're going to be fine either way, but you're right. No, you're totally right. Like, there's just no reason to. We might as well yeah. just start editing. You already got the footage. Dang, are we going to have space for that? These are the YouTube Scientology pranksters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Small world, right? I don't know cool. who you're going to run into in California. That's fun. Oh. Oh, I'm so tired. I've been going to... This is like past my bedtime. Do you actually... You don't really have a bedtime per se. Uh, Will is gone. That's good. Our crappy roommate oh, is not sweet. here. Okay, we can be a little loudish. Watch, watch Will be crazy. a fan. <laughs> He's watching this right now going, yeah, fuck. Get wild, man! The roommate that doesn't like loud noise isn't here. Ow! This is, uh, this is these right here. That guy that was playing the bad guy. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> Here, let's close the gate just so. Try to hide the dress. I don't want to dox him. What? Who is this man? Hey. <laughs> He's uh, another content creator. Shooting some B-roll. Somebody's making a cardboard. He really gotta lock my door. <laughs> Somebody's making a cardboard Millennium Falcon over here. this guy. He's in our series, too. That's pretty dope, man. He was in there every now and then. He'll be in episode 10. Awesome. Probably making fun of Scientology. Nice. He was the guy that played the bad guy. In the uh, films, right? He's in the room having sex. Oh, there you go. Lucky. Yeah. 
Right. Damn it. Some people have all the luck. I know. That's him. I'm Mike upstairs. And he's 6'2". He's half black. Yeah. Not fair. God damn it. I'm 5'9 and albino nearly. <laughs> Pale as fuck. It's fucked up how he works, right? Yeah. Woo. Andrew! Where are we supposed to go? Is there like a living room people go to, or where? Or is this your, their house too, or they all left? So um, get up, go upstairs. Oh, they live upstairs. Oh. Yeah. Surf, burgeon in your house. No, you're good. Oh, we're just spotting them to make sure. Oh, yeah. You want to watch Land of the Lost? Oh my God, yes. Can I borrow you to transfer the shit inside? Oh, I'm down for that movie. I have to watch the next trailer. We just need the camera. The camera's in the cab. Alright, let's get this shit in the house. Sweet. This truck's weird. It's so nice. I low key my transfer to. This doesn't make it. Bill Ford Duff. Maybe I'll edit. I'm making sure to keep the camera on my jacket so they can't see like the address and stuff of your house. No, you don't want to dox your address for sure. I mean, I think they know where we're at. Yeah, actually, me and my wife You don't want to dox your address though for sure. We we thought it'd be really funny. No, I'm saying like people on YouTube or something might fuck with your like send pizzas to your house and shit. That's awesome. But they don't pay for the pizza. Are we live right now? If you want to send us free pizza. Yeah, but it's just on my jacket. They want to do the pizza prank to us. Pepperoni, black olive. No. I mean, they they no. show up and they're like, hey, uh, we have 20 pizzas. Can you pay for them? That's like, awesome. I went and order them. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, what happens if someone Man, shows you'll up like, like these that. guys. They're going to take like, the oh, pizzas back. Dude, me and Mike were talking you about like it. That. Like, you'll love them. To our house and we do exactly what we do with them. Wait, they get a load of you. Like, if they, if they show up to our house, we'll just be like, oh, sick, you're a fan? Nice. Hey, you want to hang out with us? You want to do something fun? Can you maybe talk and lift? No one in this chat owns a house. Where do you want me to lift at? Well, guys, the filming was a success. Everything was fun. People enjoyed yeah. the prank. Okay, where are we putting this at? No one died. Nobody got arrested. The cops didn't even show up. Cops didn't even well, show up. Well, they showed up, up to the last one. Just to take pic. Well, they showed up to take a picture. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Technically. And then another one drove by and looked at it. Here, man, you want to assist me? That was the great. I, I turned it off. I'm like, ah, here we go. And then I was like, you know How long have you guys been friends? Maybe like. Since high school. Oh, wow. We were juniors in high school. Oh, wow. shit. We have been friends now. Like two months. Oh, my hip is so bruised when I fell. Oh, yeah, you oh, ain't yeah, shit. That, that hurts so bad. Here, hold this. I'm like lifting with my hips and it just hurts. Okay, ready? Oh. Sweet, you got it now? Okay, I'll get the. Uh... Everyone knows to lift with your back, man. Wow, that's some nice rigging. Yeah, this is what I did. Unfortunately, I was always carrying crap like this. This is ground zero for Scientology sucks. Wow, that thing sounds heavy. Sounds heavy. For who? Will's not home. Damon's not home on Saturday. Jeremiah. Damien's having a great time right now. Yeah. Zondo. Damien's yeah, no, literally, Damien's not home. Adam's working. If so we're good. Here. He's not here. Will's not here. Who cares Wait, are you serious? Two, Will's gone, yeah. We could be as hot as we want, right? We like passed out, bro. <laughs> okay, good. No. So then, uh... I, the I, got the, I got the root beer and uh, I've got the rum. Got here, I don't know if Will is wrong. Fuck my beer and rum. We're live at the Scientology Sucks headquarters. That's cool. We had rum this whole time? <laughs> Why are we drinking those white claws? The celebrations are commencing. Hey, yeah, let's rip a shot. I was, I'm gonna make it a mixture. I'm actually hyped about this, bro. That looks dude, good, dude. Good. That looks real good, actually. I'm actually hyped, bro. This is the trap house. This is the trap <laughs> house. This is the crib. Dun, 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 dun. Are you guys using that for a film, or are you just making that for fun? He just no, made this for his birthday. Fun, yeah. He does That's this. That's fun. He's very talented. Now are you going to fill it up with candy and bash it? Ooh, oh, that'd be <laughs> That's a really good idea. Make a pinata. 
I got a pinata made, at a party. I was telling him before. I made. Wait, we also need to get the go-go. I think. I made a scale model a of the what? black Go-to pearl go-go. from Pirates Who's of the yeah. Caribbean. No oh, shit. Out of cardboard. Out of cardboard. No, no, you use hot glue with the glue it together. Hot glue, yeah. I put it in my pool. And then it on fire. No way. That's like some Buddhist shit. Like making a sand painting or something. Oh, it's so awesome. Yeah, oh, good. And make the so odds to be destroyed. And make the odds to be destroyed. Yeah, I'm gonna cook up some food. Are hungry? All right, always. Uh, That's a pretty strong drink. That'll put hair on your back. That's where the ladies. I'm just gonna turn it into a werewolf. Strong drink. You drink fucking apple cider. Get the fuck out of here. Apple cider is good. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? This is spike cider. Dude, I'm kind of excited, Loki. After watching that trailer or the clip, this movie looks bomb. Might be the only Will Ferrell movie I like. Tril- the trailer for what? We're going to watch Land of the Lost. And I do not like Will Ferrell, but I saw some last night. I'm like, alright, this movie's pretty good. I like Stranger Than Fiction. I, I, I don't think I watched that one either. I that was a different kind of Will most Ferrell. Most of the stuff, he's just too stupid. Yeah. What? Stranger Than Fiction's good. The one where he's like Harold Glick or something. Really? Has Maggie Joan Hall in it. I actually like He actually does the real. I like it because he's a more grounded character. He's not all like, well, this is crazy. Or like, the normal kind of thing he does a lot. But uh, he's good in like this other one, Everything Must Go. He plays a dad that was divorced and like having to sell a bunch of stuff. And, yeah, I thought that one was good. Oh, I quit drinking. Appreciate that. I smoke herb though. I got like a wax pen thing. I've been here. What's funny? We quit smoking. You read the opposite. Yeah, I did the flip. I quit drinking. It's just getting my smoke zone. Oh, what are you? Land of the Lost is hilarious. Don't want to smoke? Hell yeah. Alright, hey. Get a whole bag of it? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? It was, like, it was only like 20 bucks. The Griffith <laughs> Shake. It's uh, pretty good. A bag of shake. Okay. Time to smoke. Got some free herb over here. I don't mind if I do. Oh, have fun today, guys. You going to bed bit or editing your videos, Ben? Yeah, I have to edit. But if I don't do it, the videos aren't here by Monday, so. Word. I, I have to. <laughs> I'll shoot you a message on gonna... Instagram or something. Okay, sweet. This is. This I is go by Burger class. Planet. This is our last video of the series, and I have ten more weeks to go with the next thing, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I don't know. That'll be cool. We'll, we'll, we'll party hard once this, uh, this series is over. <laughs> we'll party hard that sounds good. Party. Yeah, hit me up about that church service thing, too. That sounds oh, like yeah, something is this, fun. Is this still recording? Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll just DM it to you then. I don't want, like, random people to show up, but... Oh. Well, oh. yeah, tell me about it later, then. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's, it's invite only. Actually, it's well, invite let's, say this, let's say this. If you, if you guys want to come... Uh, we're, we're only selecting those hype people to come, so, uh, we think David Dobrik's gonna be there, uh, Shirley's is gonna be there, a bunch of other really big... Oh, well, we know Shirley's gonna be there. Uh... Or just a note. Hey, do you have the keys? Yeah, so... I'll be there! Yeah, like, DM me on Instagram if you wanna come, come and run if you can prove that you're hype enough, maybe we'll Ben, do you, you have your keys? I'm hype. my keys. Well, I'll, 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 I'll DM yeah, you the right. invitation. Well, how I showed up... Grand and back if weed begins to smoke it. When in Rome. Uh, uh, sweet. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, cool, man. I'll check out the video. Okay, right, sweet. Yeah. See thanks for letting me tag along. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Uh, feel free to like come upstairs or whatever too if you want. Oh, okay. Well, upstairs is the editing bay. That might be exciting. Oh yeah. Do you guys use Premiere or Final Cut? I switched them over to Premiere from iMovie. Uh, I still love Final Cut. The There's just some stuff. Down that... here is the fun part. I mean, this is the fun party. Yeah. Definitely. This is the fun party. Upstairs is a disaster. Where? The disaster zone. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this is party down here, and I'll work upstairs. It's like a mullet. <laughs> kind of. It's like party in the front. Yeah, no. This Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> this house is actually a mullet. Party yeah. upstairs. No. Work upstairs, party downstairs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. What Michael go upstairs? No one likes going up. I like Final Cut, bro. <laughs> 
Oh, I wish we had a way to plug it into the uh, speakers here. There actually might be, it might have something in my, in my box. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the room's all a mess. It's a VR zone, art project. Better. Yeah. Oh, this, you guys don't really have a living room? Is <laughs> yeah. the kitchen kind of like. No, the welcome room? to California where they determined you don't need a living room because there could be another paying bedroom. Oh. There is a living room upstairs. Oh, okay. They had to fight to keep it. <laughs> like we're bur we're moving some other dude in here. The family of five is gonna just split this room. Well, it's funny because literally all of us. I just met everybody like two months ago. Um, I I brought all the cam gear and all the editing stuff and like nice. and to their channel. That's cool. How'd you find out about it? Um. So I just moved to LA like two months ago. Okay. And so I was on Facebook with. Uh, the Yes Fam group. So if you've ever seen Yes, yes Theory. Theory. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I joined their Yes Fam group and it was kind of meetups. And one of their friends posted on Christmas Eve for a party. And I I was brand new. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it. So I showed wow. up and I met Ben and Michael. And we talked and said that I was moving here to do directing and camera work and stuff. And started talking and set it up. Very cool. And became family with everybody here. So it's been... It's been cool. Did you move in too? Yeah, I lived down here for two. Oh, that's where you went out of, boys. Out of. What kind of hooks have you got? Yo, Mike, what you doing with those chairs, bro? They're right over here, dog. Yeah, You want to watch this movie with us? Right over where? Uh, what are you watching? Who? Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost. Where right now? Where? Oh, it's over there. I'm cool right now. I'm gonna cut this and fuck around. Nice. Bitch, how'd you get into like um, live streaming and social media stuff? Um, well, I was already making. Live stream, by the way. Yeah. 133 right now. Nice. Yeah, I had That's 300 on my last one, and then I. How many people are on there now? 133 right now. What's up, nice. y'all? What's up? Um, I make them food too. Bro. Oh, here, I'll take a video of you cutting the food. That's looks cinematic. That's funny. Yeah, it's a nice cutting bird. The artist. I feel like I'm going to get... Well, I, was, I started doing an interview show in 2008, and um, then I don't know, it was called the Josh McCutcheon Show, and I went to a lot of events in New York, like the Mermaid Parade, and just whatever cool events I could find, like Zombie Hey, Michael, Con. from uh, Rumham, cut that food. Cut you, bro. <laughs> what are all these events? I'm not familiar with them. Oh, uh, there are a lot of New York's events. I lived in New York from 2005 to 2015. And in uh, Manhattan? I lived in Brooklyn, in Bushwick, and Williamsburg. I've been to New York twice. I love it. have not made it to Brooklyn yet. I can't get out of Manhattan. Yeah, it's fun. I it's rode my nice. bike around over there, and it was dope. I lost a lot of weight, and went to a lot of parties, and... Picked up with a lot of hot babes. Hey, uh, Mike, what are you fun. making to eat here? Uh, I'm going to make some onions, green peppers, red peppers, mushrooms, broccoli, pasta, alfredo sauce, tuna, jalapeno. Well, kind of if you like it, what do you, what do you, what do you guys want to eat? Kind of a mashup of everything. It just like healthy. It sounds healthy, man. Yeah, it's fucking good. Oh, and I'll throw some spinach in there. Well, it depends. What do you, what do you eat, bro? Uh, I've been doing a keto diet, so I don't do carbs. Right, consider it done. Sure. Just leave out the pasta and be good. Throw in a little sunblock, too. Just make it a little... <laughs> <laughs> I actually used... No, no. Um... No. Oh, Sorry, anti-stick for the pants. Anti -stick. Oh, that's yum. Wait, oh my god. This is the kind that's not reef safe. I saw Yes Theory. They said it's got to be reef safe. Oh, oh no. Yo, god damn it. Turn, turn off the video before I get... It's uh, over. Before my fucking career is ruined. <laughs> yeah. Wait till the dolphins can type. Yes, it, it, it might be 3 a.m., but we are hungry after a long day of pranking Scientology. How many hours were you guys filming that stuff A today? lot of hours, bro. We like started at, day. like, what, 8? 
something like that. Eight tonight. Yeah. But we also had multiple spots. We had to deal with the cops. We had to deal with losing the drone. Oh, that sucks. Did you, did you yeah, get, we, we crashed. Hey, did, you, did you happen to it's find the addresses so maybe you could call, contact the people or knock on their door? Uh, yeah, I got the contact of the no head engineer guy. So like, we like, took care of it. We just have to You wait. might be able to get it back? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we will. Oh, we, just have, we just have to wait. Uh, the head engineer guy. Oh, that's He's the only one that has like the keys, so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so that's like the only way we can get up there. Jeez, because those things are so expensive. Bro, it's the DJI one too. It's like two grand. Wow. Oh, that'd be a huge hit. Oh yeah, did you reach out to, uh, what's her name? No, I haven't done that yet. I'm kind of afraid. Anybody want to donate a drone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get my viewers to donate me a new van right now. They don't donate shit. Scam. Wow, what's up with these fans? Money Gang was watching earlier. He donated a bunch. And then this other guy. Dude, our fans actually hand. donated a pretty good amount. Like yeah. we said, all those fans donated shit Dude, for, the, for the stunt. That was a massive red pepper. I am. But we also had like the whole Scientology community, which was really cool. They were actually pretty lit. We did a couple well, There's a lot of people that are anti Scientology. Bro, there are so many anti Scientology people. It's fucking ridiculous. Well, maybe drones are pretty maybe good. their family was affected or you know. That's that's a thing. It's like you have a friend of a friend that's been like I don't see him anymore. Affected or whatever. They're all like, Oh yeah, my uncle was in it and he lost millions of dollars to them. Wow. Or like some shit. Like when we That's money that his family could have squandered. Damn it. <laughs> exactly. God damn it. I could have partied with that money, man. You, could, you can party in our religion. Damn man. it, Uncle Ricky, you fucking dumbass. Fucking Uncle Ricky. You watch Rick and Morty? Yeah. I love that show. Get your fucking dirty hands out of here. Pickle Rick! <laughs> Dude, Pickle Rick's overrated. Tiny Rick. Tiny Rick is, a, is, is way better than one of our goals is to uh, is to get the giant plunger in the sky, which is the god of our religion, in a Rick and Morty episode. And we're well, well on our way, dude. Dan Harmon. Well, they got they've seen our they shit got Szechuan and they love sauce it. to come back. So Szechuan sauce. Dude, yeah, this they had Szechuan sauce at, Walt, at McDonald's again because of that Rick and Morty. Did they only do it for a little bit though? Like, I don't know. I haven't asked anymore about it. I, I never even, check. I never even I wonder if it's it. keto friendly. You done with that other half? Uh, I'm gonna use it later. Dude, they said like Tom. They said Tom. They said Tom Cruise is on his way. The viewers just said Tom Cruise is pissed about this Scientology thing. He's coming over to like shake you guys down. See, that'd be lit, bro. Come on, Tom. Do you know how amazing he's ziplining for dinner. He's, he's ziplining from this roof, dude. <laughs> he's got lasers and shit, man. Nah, he's jumping in from a drone. He's wingsuiting his ass. Well, they've been they did a ten part yeah. series with the Scientology thing, so that's, that's what why. I'm about. Was it yeah. ten part or nine? This is the ten part. This is okay. The you can talk about some. How many were How many were you gonna do at the beginning? Have you added extra like, ones on? Like five. Yeah. And it just kept growing. I don't think originally. You're like five. People were loving this shit. Six. Then it was seven. Then it was ten. Well, it was like, it was like we can't get across all of the content and what we had. like. We just we had to go more. Otherwise, like, the episodes would be so unbelievably long. What school did you film the classroom scenes in? Uh, a lot of it was UCLA, so, like, we just Did they get and... mad at you going there? Oh, bro, they were pissed. It was awesome. Really? It oh, was... you were just walking into lectures, though, yeah. too, right? Bro, we just hopped into oh, lectures, yeah. and I was like, bro, he's four. a T-Rex. He's in T-Rex mode. That, that was, was not staged, yeah. right? No, no none Dude, of Dude, I thought staged. that was real. It looked oh, real. Every we literally went in and waited 15 minutes, every and single we looked at like, right, go. They're really good sports about it. Yeah. Well, they didn't have an option. Well, that was the second time that we did it. The first time that didn't make it in... Um, there were some issues with the camera, but the professor actually talked that to him, and I think he believed that he was really there. Yeah, I think he thought Ben had, like, a mental problem. Yeah, Because like, Ben was just, like, problems. drooling and foaming at the mouth and shit. <laughs> wow. Actually, I don't think that, but he was just, like, he handled it really cool. So I think we left and came back the next day. And did He's again. mental. We'll let him slide. This man's obviously mental. <laughs> yeah, he was, like, some foreign dude that spoke, uh, I don't even know what language, maybe, like, French. But he like handled it really chill. But the one dude, the one girl was like, I have mace, stay back. Oh yeah, I'm not that mace. He was like, I'll mace you. Wow. I know it was awesome. But no dude, none of the, none of the stuff I'll staged. mace you. 
I'm ace you. No, I met Ross saying. Vlogs from Florida. Ross Vlogs? You Ross Rages? Yeah. Oh, that, uh, I met him and down there. Good friends. They, like, oh, really? Together. Well, not good friends, but they're friends. Yeah, I met him and Juke Squad. They were really nice. I, went, I met Ross at this party down at his buddy's house, like, in the bayou and stuff. It was, really? Yeah, his friend lives in, like, next to this swamp. It was a girl. It was so in the middle I of nowhere in Florida. Names. Like thirty minutes from like the nearest town and stuff. What'd you guys get into when you like chilled and kicked it? I taught him how to live stream. He never live streamed and he made like seven hundred bucks in an hour. It was crazy, yeah. dude. Or do you fuck around with TikTok live streaming at all? We got no. friends. we got a lot of friends that do TikTok and like the one girl, the two girls, it's uh they're twins and they literally make their living off of live streaming on TikTok. No kidding. They make like five hundred live streams. What's their name? <coughs> Oh, it's something, twi- it's something twin. I don't remember, but the dude's name is the Magic Crasher. So I he- met a guy the other day, actually, that does TikTok on uh, Santa Monica, and uh, he's got like one point. He's got over a million followers on there. And the he's Magic like, Crasher he knows has like one point two. Shoot, I don't remember. He does this thing called Togger. That's this photography thing. You can send him a message on Togger. It's like T O G R on Instagram, but uh, I'm not familiar with it. I don't know. I just heard about it through him that day. He takes just random photos of people, and then if you want to purchase them online later, you can. Oh, okay. Ten bucks a photo. Ten bucks a photo. Did you take like really good photos? Really yeah, good. it looked good. He took some of me. I looked at him, but I just didn't have the extra money to get him. So yeah. And then it was online for like ten days or something. We uh, Santa Monica Pier is fun, dude. A lot of people. That's like where we go to do slacklining. So because I know you've seen the slackline videos, right? Yeah, I haven't seen them all. There's a lot of those. What are you actually doing tomorrow, bro? Uh, I don't have any plans really. So tomorrow is Sunday, and that's like a big day for the beach. So like we got a bunch of friends at the beach. So if, like you want to come through, we'll teach you a little slacklining. I could try. I've tried it's, to slackline. I'm really bad at it. So that's fine, dude. Everyone, everyone I get like my it. legs on. I'm just like, uh, see now. Shit, now was you immediately know? start getting yeah, epilepsy. I just started. No, it's bad. You and know what I mean? Me. It's just like my just legs just like. Uh, keep doing. I can walk five or six steps. Yeah. Now. And that was after I mean, I could try. Day, I, like, I just my I mind suck mind at it. I just tried the other day. I couldn't even stand up on it. Dude, everyone sucked at it when they first started. I sucked at it. Ben sucked at it. It'd be fun to just like hang out though and watch you guys. You know. You like, do it. Somebody that can actually do it. Yeah. That would be fun. Well, you know, Ben's a professional, so like, he people you love get watching sponsors him. and stuff. Not for real. No, uh, slackline. The slackline world is kind of dead when it comes to sponsors and money. So that so, yesterday thing where YouTube. they subbed the middle of the canyon on those oh like goodness, tent that thing. Crazy. That looked cool. What was it? They were in the middle of a canyon. They put one of these like sleeping tarp canopy things in the middle of a canyon. Yeah, like 100 feet up, just out over the open thing and slept over there. Yeah. I really, I got into a lot of their videos. That temple they found and they went to, or I guess they didn't find it, but they went to it in like like Guatemala or Nicaragua. uh, They went and made a mansion. We we did that too. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was a lot harder to get in for us. Maybe I saw, are you guys in the video? No, not that one. We went, uh, we did it separately, so like for this party that we're having, uh, we were just trying to scope out abandoned spots to do it at, mm-hmm. and that was one of the spots where we were like, yo, maybe if we just bribe the neighbors, oh. we can do it there. Hmm. But uh, coming to find out that like the reason that that place is abandoned is because the foundation is cracked, so the develop. Dude, they can have like lead paint and asbestos. We're sleeping. It's three o'clock in the morning. I pay to live down here. You guys live upstairs. Go upstairs and use your own kitchen. Be quiet, please. No, be quiet. Go upstairs. Use your own kitchen that you paid for. We got you. I pay for all this. Q, Q said not to worry about you guys. Hey, I'm no, sorry. You're on live stream, freaking out there. Buddy. Oh, that's all right. She was I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know there was people here. I didn't think it mattered. He's just being a little bitch. Whoa. I did say don't worry about him, but he's saying don't, you know. I don't want to set him there. I don't want to do all the rest of the game. I don't want to do all the rest of the game. I'll finish. Do you have a kitchen upstairs, too? Yeah, I'm going to finish it. It's going to be quiet. Because it's just because we're having a conversation later. Oh, I didn't even know there was somebody in there. That's Alex. He was a friend. He was a, hey, he's cool. He was shooting the Scientology stuff on us the past two days. Oh, I don't want him. Okay. No, yeah, he's like absolutely cool. He's just mad. He's not going to shut up with his girl. How's this bothering that? There's no loud. I'm trying to sleep. Oh. Yeah, we'll move up. Uh, we'll move up. Sorry, sorry. He has a what? 
Yeah, we'll finish this and go upstairs on our spot. Sounds good. These guys are cool, he <laughs> said. Nice, bro. Thanks, bro. He's not cool, though. He's a fucking... Where did you guys live at before LA? Wow. Curvy. Well, Florida. Let's just take this upstairs. Oh, you live in Jersey. Right. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to cause any trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, I want to keep this going. I don't want, like, the fans to get bored, you know? Yeah. Oh, these guys still watch well, people this is, sleep. This is my function. Function. This is my kitchen, okay? He's just bitching. Cause well, let's get not rock the boat, you know? I ain't trying to like piss nobody off. This is funny. <laughs> Alright guys. Yo, my bad about that. Should I shut this? Uh, I'm gonna come back. I didn't realize that. I thought he was passed out. But uh, that was our so that was our buddy Alex. Yeah. He's he was, like, he was trolling. He was upstairs, motherfucker. Yeah, dude, this is our spot. You guys can see our spot. Oh my god. Yeah, he was not happy. Oh, well, nah, just trust me. Yeah, we're, good. We're, we're all boys. We, uh, we used to live in our car. Back when we used to yeah, live. same. Back when we used to live in our car. Uh, we have that in common. Yeah. We used to live in our van. Bro, van life is cool. We know a lot of people that do van life. Yeah. yeah like, it's pretty free, and you know, I'm not paying your rent anywhere. Yeah, dude, it's cheap. And like, it's How much is rent right here? Rent, uh, 1050. For the whole place or yeah. per room? So, uh, this is our room, but then you can go in there and do the editing. You can go and see the show and set up. Whoa, who did this painting? That's pretty cool. Uh, that's our buddy Will. Wow. That's our buddy Will. That's pretty neat. Yeah, check this out. This is, the, this is where the magic's made for the videos. Behind the scenes. It's dirty, I'm sorry. What's up? What's up, Ben? How's the editing going? It's good. Whoa, this is the picture for on the wall. Oh, yeah. The backdrop. Yeah. The mouse trap. We have, uh, I don't know, the whole thing was to every single piece of this, like, represents a YouTube video we've done in the past. It's the culmination of many YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. Taser. How's yeah, it coming? Some little Easter eggs in all of it. I don't know. And we ran out of paper for the bottom, but... Oh, that's cool. And we got too busy with our Scientology series of actually creating content to finish it. <laughs> no, it's nice that, like, when you're, like, I think it's the best to get the footage and edit it when it's fresh, because after it sits for a few days, you can oh. kind of get, like, it gets stale, and you're like, yeah. oh, move. It's good to hit it when it's fresh and when you're most excited about it oh. and stuff. Yeah, and we got to hit the Monday <laughs> deadline, which is... It's, uh, You're trying to get it live by. Week. What do you always try to go on a schedule with the uploads? Yeah, every Monday. At what time? Um, do you schedule them for a certain time? We've been doing it seven in the morning every morning. Cause that's when our guy was like reposting it for us, or he was like the head Scientology guy, like anti Scientology guy. He would repost our videos, oh, okay. and that's what time he posts was seven a.m. every Monday. So we just wanted to be consistent with them. So. Have you guys gotten some traction on Reddit? Like some good yeah. Reddit posts on like yeah, our religion or post our stuff. Yeah, documentaries. Reddit can be really videos. big about making the videos go viral. Yeah, right? like it was it's huge. It was documentaries and vid they posted the videos. Those were the two subreddits that like made it go huge. The documentaries one that one was like it was on like the front page of Reddit for a while. Wow. When we posted sucks on the Blue Scientology, but that was on the front page of Reddit for a while. We got no credit for it, but it got on the front page of Reddit. So I'm that's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. And here's a little sneak peek of part ten. Did you? Where else you guys go to? Did you go to the Celebrity Center in like Hollywood or? Yeah, this was today too. I think. Was this today? Yeah, this was today. Uh, you know, it was us promoting our religion next to the. Yeah. The, the people. Yeah. The people that play like those random like yeah, recordings. Were, like, shotgun and beers next to them. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's gonna be great. And then uh, one of our friends is a magician, so we had him distract the secu or the Scientologist. Are you uh, serious? Yeah, he was doing magic tricks to him, and he was, like, making them think that, like, what he was doing was real. That's so crazy. Was, like, actors coming by, and he, like, pretends to, like, read their minds and stuff, and it's, it's great. That's funny. But I don't want to give too much of it away. <laughs> Sounds but cool. I think I'm, I'm really excited for this one. This is going to be great. Is there a target time that you usually go for in your videos? Or? Uh, no. We just... 
if it's two, if it's two minutes of entertaining material, it's gonna be two minutes long. If it's two hours of entertaining material, it'll be two hours. So we just as much entertainment as it is, that's what we'll put in. Cool. We'll, we'll keep it going for as long as we think the audience will continue to want to watch. And then after this project, they're on to another tr uh, project. Oh yeah, this will be crazy. That'll be fun. That one has to be a secret for now, sadly. You guys have already told told he said it what it, what it was earlier. Oh, he, he told you. That? Well, he said it on the street. Yeah, he said it like the thing earlier. Oh shoot, the the ten episode thing. Well, I don't know about he didn't they didn't say any yeah. details or anything. But. It's gonna be really good. The, the next thing. That could end up in like the papers and stuff for local news. Yeah. That's a good idea. Oh, I'm excited to see where that goes. Yeah, dude. Cool, uh, man. So this is our room. We have like three people living in here. Oh wow! Uh, really in this one room? Yeah, it's crazy. Jesus. Uh, that's how we pay for rent? In Holy LA. fuck. Three people in there. Well, it's, I guess it's like a more space in the car. But YouTube's paying for it, so. Damn. It's working. We're, All right. We got all the computers. Well, it's definitely come up. You're like progressing like four months. You never got out of the car. Yeah, in like four more months, hopefully we have like a mansion or something. <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah, or just your own rooms or something. Or some rooms. That'd be fine too. Yeah, that'd be good. One person per room. You're like, yeah, well, we'll have our okay. own mansions. I like it. We just kind of like put all the mattresses down and we snuggle. Where does the third person sleep? I see like a bed. Is this thing pull out like a bed or something? Or? No, uh, this is, yeah, we usually have one person. So there's like a, we like there's rotate only one. off, so it's like. Well, you uh, have two people on the mattress here? Yeah, I usually. Oh just, my God. I usually just, no, we have two mattresses. So that's just one mattress uh -oh. and we put another one out. And then, yeah, we gotta clean up a little bit before we put the other mattress down. And then I usually end up, like, staying up and sleeping on the bed. But I'll probably take a mattress tonight, because I think they're watching a movie. So, so we might, this will be my mattress tonight. <laughs> I get the mattress tonight, motherfucker. I actually got the mattress the last two nights. Michael's, Michael and Andrew just slept on stairs, I thought. It's this gonna nice. be a good night. Mattress three nights in a row. <laughs> Yeah, we won't sleep up with like a twisted neck from the couch. Yeah, I don't know, I enjoy it. We just we have melatonin in there. You just pop a melatonin and it's uh, out like a baby. Yeah, you just out like you, you go to sleep. It's like you it's like you blink your eyes like you're asleep. Then you wake up you're like oh it's morning. It's the best. Well, if you guys ever need so any well. help filming stuff, oh, yeah. you know it could help you film different angles or whatever. Sick. Yeah. Our next ten episodes are already all filmed. But, uh, really? You already filmed them all? Did okay, you edit your next series yet? It's not edited. It's all, I mean, all the raw footage is edited. We have to do the voiceover. So we sat in front of this again. We used the same backdrop. And we, uh, we did the voiceover for seven episodes. We still have three left to do. And the newest series you're going to launch? Yeah. Oh, wow. You do a lot of all the editing a lot, like beforehand, before you drop it? Yes. Yeah, so we, we edit the raw footage down just to. Uh, like maybe just at any any potential clip that's usable. Like if there's something we're like, ah, that could maybe be usable. We'll edit it down to that, and then after that, we we talk about just every single clip. We talk about it, and then it's like, mm, if, is this telling the strongest story? And then, or yeah, and then we just keep the clips where it's like the most entertaining. That can be tough. I edit my own stuff too, and so it can be tough. Like leaving too much in or you know like a part lags a little yeah. bit at some point or whatever just deciding the pace figuring out the pacing of it and yeah, how to keep it flowing it. and it's, and like, it's hard it's hard because there's a lot of stuff that's like oh i really want to keep that but i don't think our audience will like it and it sucks like taking those clips out yeah but you gotta do it sometimes <laughs> yeah you fall in love with certain scenes or footage you're like oh but yeah this should i really do like a 20 cent 40 second intro before the like the shit action happens or yeah. is it really like I don't know it's just got to decide that as the artist I guess uh, we're still we're still learning what well, different sure. different projects might have different kind of tones and things mm -hmm. we're definitely improving that's uh, cool I think <laughs> that's the goal You're using premiere always get better yeah we just started we were using iMovie for the first seven episodes oh wow and then finally around yeah, episode I finally around episode 8, and there's like, yeah, he's from here, so I was like, okay, so I'm just, I'm still learning, but figuring it out, we're getting it. You said there's some food in the kitchen? Oh, okay. Hey, Matt, there was tuna for protein, but... Ah, uh, cool, man. Get me a bowl of this. Please.
get me some peppers and stuff. Gonna get some peppers and onions tonight. Free food, yeet. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, I'll probably go back to my van because I got, I appreciate that though. Awesome. I got a mattress and stuff. Do you need a but ride? I'm, um, I mean, I can walk or. Nah, no, you're not gonna walk. I can do it. Oh, if you want to. Yeah, you're not walking. Cool. What time are you guys doing that beach thing? Gonna be like slack lining and stuff. It's all slack lining, right? Would you put like raw garlic in yours? Uh, not raw. I had garlic powder. Oh, you just put pasta in it? Yeah, pasta. Yeah, yeah. So normally I had cheese, mushrooms, broccoli, <coughs> and tuna. <coughs> and tuna. Oh, yeah. I saw you had the broccoli on the counter. <coughs> yeah. So normally I have way more than just veggies to eat. But I love broccoli. It was Dude, good man. though. Thanks, man. I have hummus too. We eat a lot of like hummus and carrots. Cool. Like hummus and broccoli. But uh, no, the slack lining thing, my guess is they go around like 12 or noon. But yeah, it's all slack line. It's like trick lining. Trick lining. That's what Ben does. So Ben does trick lining, which is like the extreme sport stuff. And they usually also have a line that's rigged. It's like 200 something feet. It's like 12 feet up in the air. So that's like long lining. And you're not gonna be able to do any of it, but it's cool because the people there are really cool. And you get to try it and fall on your ass, and it's fun. And people, everyone, Sunday's a nice day to go out and do something. I think it's yeah, supposed yeah. to rain a lot on Monday. Is it real? Mm hmm. Ah, I assume. Like an inch or so. Oh my god, what is this? Ohio? I, I'm from Indiana. That's funny. What part? A town called Newcastle. No way, dude, really? You know, so I used to race go karts. Oh, and you and been I to race at, I would race at Newcastle. Oh, that go-kart place by the interstate? Yeah, dude, I used to race there, literally. Weird. I raced there for like 15 years. That's cool. Is that yeah, right? I didn't know that that was like such a big, famous place, but yeah, I guess yeah. they get a lot of, they have a lot of events and stuff. That's a, that's one of the like best go-kart tracks in the, like the eastern half of the country. Really? Dude, they have so much money in that. Hmm. I don't understand why. Like it. It's in the middle of nowhere. It is. It's right there next to the, the highway, which is cool. There's a random little Indian restaurant, too, with that truck stop right, right across the street from that place. Really? Yeah, I'd go in there sometimes and get the buffet. It was pretty good. I love buffets. Especially Indian. There'd be all these, like, random truckers and stuff in there. Yeah, there's truckers everywhere. Well, it's weird because my town's, like, so, uh... It's just not very ethnically diverse. It's just, like, all white people, pretty much. And then go down there, it's, like... There's, you know, it's like a whole new little country or something, like, in that one little restaurant, like. It's like a little just dot of, like, Indian culture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but around all these, like, white farm boys. Mm-hmm. Wait, so you used to, like. A lot of people wouldn't go there. You're like, I ain't eating that stuff. I'm like, man, it's good. I like chicken like, curry and stuff. That's fine, dude. More for me. I love curry. Yeah. What did you do back in Indiana? Um, you I used to do rest, or, like, radio station stuff in high school. And I worked at Staples, and I sold vacuum cleaners door-to-door -door at one point. Oh, you were a sales guy? I sold vacuums door-to-door -door for like three months or something for Kirby vacuums. Bro, what's door-to-door -door sales like? It's yeah. like one of the few jobs I've never tried. I wanted to write a script about it because I had a lot of funny stories about it. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like The Office or it's almost like a cult and shit too about... You know, just like selling people on the idea of how easy to, it is to sell these twelve hundred dollar vacuums. And then always these people are like poor as shit. Like, 
you know, they got like six year olds like in diapers and shit running around like the carpet's like fucking beat, you know, and, and like try to sell them on the, the like payment program. So they're like paying on this thing for like two years or something. Bro, it's like a car payment. <laughs> I don't know. I sold three of them. For real? And then they got, I was like, man, I haven't even gotten paid. I'm, they'd tell us to buy a product like, like Pepsi or Coke or, and I don't know, for some reason I just thought shampoo was a good idea. So I bought shampoo. I'm like, hey, I was just doing the marketing research for a company and just in the eight year and you want a free prize. They give them like a bottle of like swab shampoo. shampoo. They're like, I don't yeah. use this kind of shampoo. Like, use what it on your you dog. Do <laughs> yeah. it's free. Yeah. But I actually bought them myself with my own money and then I was like, I'm buying all this shampoo and stuff. I've sold three vacuums. I need to get paid. He's like, well, Josh, do you remember that contract you signed? It's like, you know, the one that you said we didn't have time to read? You're like, yeah, that, that one. one. It's like, if you read the fine print, it says we don't have to pay. We don't have to pay you until we get paid after the, the if it's on a, the payment program. So, you know, I can pay you in three years. Or how's twenty bucks sound? I'm like, fuck, fuck you. Fuck, like, fuck yourself, man. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, we'll take the 20 bucks. But like, like, remember that fine print you read? No, I don't, because I didn't read the entire contract. I didn't yeah. read the regular print. You told us not to read it, just yeah. sign it. Stupid. That's funny. That's actually really funny. Well, every morning, it was at, like, we had to be there at 8 a.m. And, like, it was, they'd play jock jams, and everyone's wearing, like, a white tee, or a white um, button-up shirt, business shirt, and, like, black slacks and a tie so we almost look like mormons or something or jehovah's right, witness do you have something you want to tell me do you want to cover right now my cover's blown are there spy glasses xenu xenu this is <laughs> code base to... this is officer xenu my cover's been blown contact huh. fly me back to the the hub no 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 it's beat me up scotty <laughs> fly me to the other side of the moon Us just chatting and being on live stream because it's like we're just chilling, getting to know each other. But it's like we've got a hundred and two hundred people watching. Like it's really weird because we we've, we've never met before and never like met. we're just like getting to know each other. But well, I feel like I know you guys because I've watched a lot of your videos. After I watched the Scientology ones, I watched some of the other ones too. Which ones? Which one was your favorite? Um, I watched some of the Slackline ones, and um, I was trying to find more skit ones. I like the skits you guys were doing. Yeah, you you were a fan of the skits. Yeah, I thought they made move made to give the video something more, something yeah. fun. It was weird because like going through the the comments, it was either people loved him or people hated him. Oh, they were, just tell the information. Yeah, but like the, Ben and I were both like, yeah, those people just want to see like the entire twelve hour footage, and it's just like nobody really wants to see that. You want to see like you well, want release the full video. Yeah, exa exactly. I was like, dude, no, I'm not gonna do that. Nobody wants to see that shit. It's man, like hours it, and hours of wind. Man, how many hours could you film with those glasses he had? Seven minutes. Oh, okay. It might be interesting to, like... We probably should, Do, honestly. like, a full 70-minute thing and just see, can you pass the test or something like that? Yeah. Well, well like, you'd have to blur their face up for the whole video. Yeah. Well, YouTube has an auto-blur um, feature, which is really nice. Mm. So, like, for that, you just click auto-blur, and then it's, like, blur faces, and the YouTube... It will just video. knows where the face is, and it's it able to tell. Wow, but it's able to tell. So then you can go through, and then you just I click. Use that. You can just click on the faces. So like that's how I was able to blur all the faces. Because like right after we did the stunt two days ago, where we projected on the building over here, uh, they hit us with like eight copyright, not copyright, eight privacy. Strikes. Privacy. So I was like, we were like, all right, well we got to deal with this because we don't want the videos to be taken down. And it took me probably like three hours. Just because, like, I would process, go through. Um, it just took time to process. You probably got mo got most of these. You probably get, like, you know, when, yeah. those, when they first came yeah. already, so. Yeah. The only way I could see it getting more is if it gets picked up by, like, a TV, like, like Netflix or Hulu or something. And, like, I'm not going to lie, I don't think it'll do that. Mm. I they mean, probably it'd, don't. It'd, be, it'd be cool. They might not want to get involved with Scientology or something. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, dude. Every single person... I figured said, you, that you better got sued or something. That's the thing, dude. You're just like, like what you say is what everyone says. They're like, oh, did you get sued? Oh, Scientology this. Oh, Scientology does that. But like from what we've dealt with, they're like low-key pussies. They haven't done anything. 
And it's like we've like called them out too to like do something. And it's their it's channel like, is Reckless Ben Ben R E C K L E S Ben S S Ben. I don't know. I don't know if they're pussies. I'm probably I'm probably speaking out of turn here because <laughs> they have like they have like literally infinite money. But yeah, dude, they can. I've heard that they can just like keep you in court forever and just bankrupt the shit out of you. You know. Yeah, and you know they're probably right. They probably could do that. They've done that to people. But, they just keep you in court until you're bankrupt, and then. That's what I've also heard, but um, honestly, man, I don't know. I just like truly, we just don't know. I guess we'll find out. Hey, you have to stop. Oh, fuck, man. I'm sorry. What? You you're not doing carbs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Carbs. I ate two slices of pizza last night. I backslid. It was bad. I've lost seventy pounds so far though on this diet. So how much? Seventy pounds. I used to weigh two hundred and sixty-five pounds. How much you weigh now? Uh, like, last time I weighed myself, I was, like, 195. Yo, you, you weigh, like, almost the same as me. I think I'm on, like, 188, 188, 190. Yeah, That's I'm trying crazy. to get down to, like, 175, something like that. Like, maybe lose another 20 pounds. I was gonna say, like, my friend, one of my friend's mom's back in Ohio was doing keto. And she did the same thing. She lost, like, 80 pounds. Dude, she looks hot. She's in the now. Damn. Yeah. But don't tell, don't, don't let her know that, because her dad... Her, yeah, her husband. Her husband's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and wow. he'll literally kill me. <laughs> I've been training to destroy my adversary in different ways. In, I in should make ways. a split second decision on which way to do. <laughs> yeah, what is my best defense? Uh, Counter strike. I've analyzed twelve different ways to kill you. <laughs> it's been a tenth of a second. <laughs> You stand no chance. I met a guy that was a security guard and he said he uh, had practiced and studied the arts of uh, that Bruce Lee, Kun, what is it, something, Jun Kun Do or something? Taekwondo? No, it's Bruce Lee's form of it. It's like Jun Kun Do. Or... I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's like fucking snapping dudes' arms in half and shit like that. Oh, is it like the death martial art? There's like it's like... Where... Sh- well, he had one where he had, like, a punch that can, like, oh, the five inch hits punch. you in the chest or something and <clears throat> fucking, like, knocks you out and shit. Like, I've seen videos that it's, like, the one-inch punch, right? He it, said he it, hits like, you in three way. different spots. He hits you in, like, three points. A little bit, like, and then you're just, like, boom. You just, like, knock and knocks you out. That's weird. Yeah, he showed me how to do it, but I don't fucking remember. But Yeah. Jeet Kune Do. There you go. Yo, so what's, like... What's the comments like in here? Can I read some of these comments? They will be infiltrated, framed, and taken down. Good. Go in there. What is this guy's name? Maybe Foggy McGee. <laughs> Kill Bill, by the way. That raw number tip me. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Guys, <laughs> we got, we've infiltrated. I knew if I hung out at Hollywood Boulevard long enough. <laughs> you guys <laughs> would be trying to make friends with some jolly fat man on... It is suspicious that you just came up and you're like, oh, are you Ben? Oh, I just happen to be Ben. Ben, have you been making those Scientology videos? <laughs> the church, I mean, I would like to talk to you. The church would had not like to talk to us. They want to do the opposite of talk to us. My parents are in a cult, too. They're in a Pentecostal evangelical Christians. Oh, really? So it's a different kind of cult. Is that the one where they speak in tongues? Mm-hmm. They're like, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, if that's real, how come you don't do that at Walmart? You know, why doesn't that happen to you? If you it's because like, you have control over it, okay? Because God tongues. does it. It's because you have control over it. Let's be real here. Yeah. It's like it happens in church. Sometimes... There would be an older saint, and they would start speaking in tongues in the middle of Sunday service, and the pastor would say, "Church, let us pray." He'd be like, "Hallelujah, Hallelujah." And then they start talking. Like, yeah. He'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, saith the Lord, I come and knock on your door, but you do not answer. Will you come and repent today, Church? The Lord's saying to repent today. Come down to the altar." Da, da, da. It was like, man, but it was like it was mesmerizing a few times. Like, man, he's getting the fucking message from God now. Hell yeah, he's got the connect. Like he's got him on the pager. So. <laughs> the direct. <laughs> yeah, he's got the car phone. Makes you feel any better, dude? Or not feel any better, but. Uh, but he always said the same thing, though. <laughs> it was always the same thing. It's like, come on, spice it up. Yeah, gotcha. have a different message this week. Something. Dude, Scientologist messages were hand signals. What? 
Yeah, it was like clap along with us. Did you not watch episode one? I did, but it was just like a lot of repeating and stuff too. Like, tell me a different way of the story. Like, now no, that's the audit. Oh no, no, no. Episode one was. I can't remember what each one was, but I did watch them all. So, so their their church service, which is what we filmed in episode one, was uh, it was it was I'm gonna do a motion and you repeat my motion and then he would do this, and then the whole room would go. It's we, almost like Kyle Hill or something. Dude, that's exactly what it was. Just like, Aaron Aaron yeah, yeah. I pledge my allegiance. But my bad, I didn't hit you. But uh, it was just like that, dude. Somebody he would do this. Have for you like seen the Masters? Seconds. No, what is it? The Masters loosely based on uh, it's with uh, Philip Anderson. What is it, Philip? What is How something Anderson it? or? It's got a Philip Seymour Hoffman in it and uh, Walking Phoenix. And it's about a guy, it's loosely based on Scientology, like the guy, they're out on a ship and like sailing around and he converts uh, Joaquin Phoenix, like C- Philip Seymour Hoffman kind of plays like an L. Ron Hubbard type of character, but they don't call him L. Ron Hubbard, but it's like, but I mean, if they're out on it's a based ship. on Scientology yeah, and like, he's in wearing this little like sailor boy, sailor Navy outfit yeah. at some point, like. That's has all the like medals and shit. Like Elrond Hubbard had all his like medals that he'd wear. And, yeah. Yeah. Apparently, a lot of the shit that he like claimed he did it was all like bogus. Like all the medals were just like bogus. Just like from a garage sale. Or something. Honestly, that's cool though that you uh, you said you've seen a lot of the videos, even the slackline videos, dude. You go, you went way back. Well, I was just trying to see what other stuff you guys had done before that. Yeah. What'd you think of the prank videos? So the. Uh, the bathroom monitor and the fake wines one, if you've seen those. I don't know if I saw those. The uh, the bathroom monitor one, Ben got punched in the face. Oh, uh, for real? He, he, got, he got accused of being a racist. Yeah. Uh, I almost got arrested. The fake wines prank, we uh, we printed off a bunch of fake wine labels. So like one of them was Morning Wood. And I, I told him that the bottle was worth like $3,200. And then we were just drinking wine on Santa Monica, and I was, like, getting people's reactions of it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, one of them was, uh, I said it came all the way from North Korea, and Kim Jong-un himself drinks this. And it was a picture of Kim Jong-un with the North Korean flag behind him on a wine bottle that I literally paid three ninety nine for. And I told him it cost, like, $4,500. And we were like, oh, it's and actually all, really good. It. Yeah, that's what they said. He, like, he had the glass like this, and he would, like, swirl it around and go, ah. And like, like sip on it and shit. I've seen ones where professional wine tasters get fooled by cheap wine and stuff no like that on YouTube. There's like different videos of like, oh, this one's nice. Like, this is Trader Joe's. Like, yeah, that's exactly where I got the wine shot. from. What is this? Trader Joe's. Three bucks Three ninety nine Trader Joe's. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I taste oak, uh, subtle oak, and sort of a vanilla aftertone. Mmm, like a grape juice finish, and then kind of a acidic. Lingering <laughs> And then they just get called out. Like, yeah, it's you know, like, yeah, this is a five dollar wine. Like they get they mix it with like whatever wine or they just like I don't know, like they just kind of like there's been I forget I think it was like a Penn and Teller show, bullshit their Penn and Teller oh, bullshit. Yeah, they, like fool me. Yeah, and they like fooled a bunch of those guys, like made just like random I think some of them were just like random fucking mixes of shit and like that's kind of gross. It just makes nice. like wands. Yeah. Hold on, let me let me show you. Let me show you in a little bit. I'll just show you like a minute. Yeah, sure. See what's chilly. I charge thirty five an hour for consultation prices. I'll kill you right now. Or or some bell peppers and onions. <laughs> we do a trade. I do a barter yeah. system. That was definitely thirty bucks worth of onions and peppers. So we're good. Maybe three bucks. <laughs> Maybe like three fifty. These are the ones that you're hosting them more. Yeah. So this is what you did more in your. Uh, so this was for. I feel like I can say it. This was this was literally all for one bigger prank. This was just like the setup for something bigger. This is literally just. A I like the way it's cut. You know, they're cut quick and it changed yeah. locations and. Can you show the audience too? Well, I won't be able to see it if they see it. Yeah, which one? What do you think? What do you think? It's called. Just watch it for like a minute. Is this on your channel or his? This is all on my Facebook. Think it's a good name? Why is it a good name? Because I love Morning Wood. Anything that makes sense. Stupid. 
We can do a sex and I like it. <laughs> Here, I'll read the comments while you watch. Not just the bottle. <laughs> this is all improv too. I do improv on at uh, Upright Citizens Brigade. I go to the open mics and do the every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Yeah, I kind of want to try an improv thing. I just have never like looked into it. Was, I've done the one open mic. It's and it was fun. fun as shit. I think it sucks. Like taking the classes, it was like 500 bucks. Oh, but it helps a lot. I took three of the classes, I'm, but I'm trying to perform in the theater. Mm -hmm. So you gotta complete the classes before you can be eligible for the auditions. So I gotta take two more classes before I do it. There's 500 bucks a class. Yeah, I know. But they are. No, there's a lot more to it than that. Yeah, for sure. That's one of the main like. That's one of the main like things for sure. But I mean, sometimes like. Maybe by saying yes, your character's maybe, you know, has a disagreement about something, or if it's not true to the character. I mean, there's always, like, you know, stipulations. And... It's definitely an art art form that's challenging that I enjoy. I know what you're talking about. It's like with this, where it's like, it's improv, but if yeah, I... Yeah, you're doing a character. I, you're in character yeah. now. If I say something that, like, contradicts what I said earlier, I can't just go with it. He's making me want to buy one of these bottles. Wow. The sooner I get rid of these, the sooner I can go back home. Fuck my girlfriend. Yo, have you heard of the term? <laughs> Fuck my girlfriend. <laughs> you ever had morning wood before? You ever had morning wood? Where was this? Santa Monica? Burger Santa at the floor. It's outside of the floor, Santa, video. I feel like it's boring for them to watch. If they're probably watching the video. Let's talk to him. I will. Let's, um, uh, we'll start heading back to your spot. Because I'm, I'm ready to crash. Oh, okay. These two really hitting it off. Yeah, bro, we're homies, of course. For two guys on the couch, they fix yeah, the a lot. That's yeah, because we gotta look good for you guys. I've been doing some sketch comedy stuff, too, if you guys wanna, like, act in some stuff. Like what? Um, I've got one script that's called Cyber Hunter, and he's gonna go into another dimension. It's gonna have a lot of green screen stuff, but we're gonna film some exterior shot stuff for the beginning of it, and... Maybe when he comes back to like reality, but we uh, we have a green screen as well. Nice. Uh, yeah, I've got a green screen too and a couple Perfect. soft box lights. Perfect. Yeah. And, we uh, have. Damn, we I got have a, I got a whole tote full thing. of like, costumes and stuff too, like wigs and tons of costumes that I brought with me from Indiana. We fucking love wigs. Yeah. Right. Well, I was doing this show where I played all the different characters myself, and it was a live stream, like kind of like Saturday Night Live, but a. Sketch show that was live. I play Trump and Bernie Sanders and um, play like a grandma character and a pa a pastor of a church and I'd have like church sermons and. Uh, Are you religious at all? Well, my parents were. I was so I was kind of like brought up that way. And then I got my first job at fifteen at a bookstore, and I asked the the manager used to go to my parents' church. I was like, "Hey, can you schedule me on the church nights so I don't have to go anymore?" <laughs> and that's how I got out of it. She's like, oh, I got to work. Yeah, I'm you not head out. Yeah, you're rolling out? Yeah. Well, I'm going to end the stream here, guys. Oh, I'm going to say leave it. Leave oh, it. I'm going to leave. I don't want people to know where I'm parked at and stuff like that, too, oh, okay. and all that. So, might as well end it. But, guys, check out Reckless Ben. And what was your name again? Michael. Michael. And Michael does videos with Ben, too. And hopefully, we'll see you again, again sometime. You will. Well, thanks so much for the hospitality. And we'll catch you guys later. See you. Peace. Make sure to subscribe and check out... The Burger Planet merch. The link's in the description. You have merch? Yep. Oh, what? What do you have? Yep, Wait, plug real quick. What do you have? <laughs> uh, what can I get? I want, I want something. What can well, I get? Well, there's all kinds of different designs. You'll have to go to shop. Get that. a hat. Shop. There's hats. There's Dope. all kinds of different. spreadshirt. I want a hat. For sure. All right. See you guys. Peace out.